Okay, hello everyone. We are starting the new session for our D and D of the Hrunic Knights of Huengard. Please never do that accent ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm offended, and I find that Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> out in a field, a child is like playing like outside his house, his like little cottage. Like there's a little. There's a little like log. He, he he's kind of like acting like he's um like he, he's a king or whatever. But then like his father like comes along. Is like, hey, hey, you need to come inside and uh, do your chores. But no, I don't want to. He said to the little kid in, in, in like an annoying voice. You, you know? have to give him that kind of voice, sir, Chris. I don't want to. <laughs> You're supposed to be <laughs> acting as a <laughs> kid, not walking the <laughs> kid. Sorry, jeez. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, carry on, carry on, sorry. Okay, alright, so... <clears throat> so, like, the little kid uh, kind of ignores his dad, and, like, he, he, they both the parents look worried. It's like, it's not a normal kind of worried, it's like there's some sort of existential dread that's coming, and, like, like the mother and the father, they're kind of, like, talking to each other, they, they're kind of concerned, they're, like, moving objects, they're hiding things under the floorboards and stuff. And, like, you could hear in the distance, like, metallic boots, like, um, marching. Mm-hmm. Clink, clink, clink. And then suddenly, Thul comes in. Meanwhile. And then goes, BITCHES! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile. So the adventurers have gathered everything they have in a last-ditch effort to keep Beer Deli from... Oh, you want Marie? Okay, one sec. You forgot the dog again! I always forget the dog. <laughs> it's one of those well, things. To be fair, Maureen hasn't really done much since well, the last couple of streams. Elf, elf! Down, boy, down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, I think it should be in trouble. Keep. Yes? Your dog won't try to eat then, sir, right? Not if I... Not if I tell him not to. Okay, thank you. I mean, I do. I am capable of talking to animals, isn't that right, Maurice? So, no eating the little cute my mouse, okay? It's not your food, and it's not wild. Oof. Mm. Maurice does. Maurice is totally unaware of the mouse, anyway. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, um, um, just just before we go into this, guys, um, I just want to check with everybody. Um, this is obviously our plan A. Does anybody have a plan B? Mm. I do have a plan B, though it's not as, uh... Are you talking about, well you thought talking? out. I'm, yeah, talking? I'm talking, I'm talking in character here. Mm. Um... I have a plan everything. B, but, um... I was gonna not... kind of save that for a plan D, actually. Ah, Sevlanis. Um, that's 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 always my plan. A, B, C, Q, V, W. You don't really well, know uh, the alphabet, do you? What was your first? What's that? What's the alphabet? Um, Point made. Uh, oh, have, well, here's the way I'm looking at it at the moment. Plan A is is that we go with what we've originally got. Plan mm -hmm. B would be just kill Beer Deli, because, I mean, uh, to be perfectly honest, I think we were probably going to do that at some point anyway. Plan nice. C, ah, kill Beer and Mitchell, and then just leave the Goblin King to sort out everything else after that. Thank you, MLG. Thank you, MLG. It would be kill all three of them, <laughs> and then just fuck off, because, you know, we'll just let the power vacuum sort itself out, because it's not really kind of our thing. Hey, hey, mm. we're not killing Mitchell. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's my ground honest, condition. That, that, that might be, uh, that might that, be a bit drastic if we kill Mitchell Jefferson. Remind me again what my part of the plan is? Uh... You, that's game. All you have to do is, is use your smart smarts. Okay, wh <laughs> while you're talking, <laughs> while you're all talking, the uh, halfling, like, shows up. It's quarter point. Oh, Keem! Says the uh, halfling. <laughs> Wait, hey, quarter point! I, I didn't think to see you here. Oh, I, I came here to be the sous chef. I get to cook for royalty. Oh, King. yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? King. She looks at um some of the other members of the team and say, "We should do what I'm. Go I was gonna do now." What was your idea? I ask, looking over. Um. Uh. Mm. 
So I have a breath weapon, and I think uh. I see where it go. Oh yeah, uh, Narnia, on your um, noise gate, maybe just adjust it ever so slightly because it's cutting your, oh. it's cutting your valleys out when you speak. My valleys? valleys. It's uh, audio talk. Basically, you're not speaking loud enough, and it's cutting you out. So you need to turn down the thing a little bit so it. Oh, um... okay. Thank you. Yeah. There is that remember working the thing better that now. Was on auto... Yeah, remember the thing that was on auto adjust. You need to turn the little okay, bar down. Okay, that should be working now. Boy, let me tell you, Keem, I've been waiting a long time for this. What cooking for more royals? <clears throat> Seems like we've been getting a lot of that lately. I'm surprised you're not swimming in cash. Oh, me? Oh, my pockets are too shallow, mate. Meanwhile, um, <clears throat> while, like, Half Pine is, like, Core Pine is talking to Keem, like, <clears throat> Fowl can, like, hear someone, like, above him on the uh, rooftop. Ha! Oh, hey, Fowl. What's up, Mitchell? Hmm? I take it you're going to see the Goblin King as well? Well, yeah. I gave it some thought, file and it wasn't right, me calling you like a subordinate or whatever. R really now? Anyway, it took me a while to realize what was going on, but... Zachary, you're not doing the voice right. Oh, <laughs> I was sitting here thinking... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I realized not doing uh, the action. Okay, fine. <laughs> Fowl, listen, okay, just, um... There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> Why are oh, well, you here as well? Like Mitchell Jefferson looks and he notices that false with a lot of other guys. Uh, they want. <laughs> um, I told told them that the Goblin King wears really tight pants, and they're like, "Oh wow, we need to see those tight pants." So they want to see the Goblin King's tight pants. Okay, roll deception. See if that if you'll believe it. Oh my god. Yeah. I swear if we all believe it, I'm just gonna say it I'm gonna say it in a dumb oh voice. Boy. <laughs> I swear if he actually what? Oh my god Oh my fuck. Well oh, okay. uh, uh, Mitchell Jeffs is like well, uh, he does have good uh, fashion taste. Oh Lade does a little bit of a Tourette's thing. No, yeah, because remember, Mitchell Jefferson <laughs> is obviously supposed to be Michael Jackson, yeah. Don't, don't ruin the magic of the moment. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ruin the magic of what moment? The magic of Secreus the meme lord. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. the magical God. meme lord. So, it, so he yeah. he slides down like onto his feet and like asks a fuck. Oh, oh. And then he like he asks Fowl to like come aside. He needs to quickly ask him something. Fowl, what's up? So let me see if I got this straight. You uh you want to be sure that um. You could like minimize the death count in this operation, right? Something along those lines. All this starts looking left and right. Look. Uh, <laughs> uh, um. Sure. I think sure. I will minimize the death count from fifty to. 25. <laughs> right. Look, listen, Fowl. Okay? It, like, like wh what exactly are you planning to do, exactly? Well, first thing I'm going to do is kill Bill Daly. The first thing? What about the guards? What about the everything? That doesn't sound like a plan. It just sounds like something that you just want to do in general. This is all we're talking about. Why would well, that cause any shock to him? Well, <laughs> also, Secretary, you keep dropping the voice. Sorry. Well, <laughs> well, Mitchell, it's me. That's always the first thing I'm going to try to do. I, t I tell you this. I tell you this, all right? Go in there, get all friendly, get an assessment of the situation. But as soon, as soon. He has the voice. I I'm doing it, ain't I? <laughs> well, do you want it even higher? No, there's in like yes. Okay, Christ. All right. Yeah. Oh no. No, no, foul, foul. Listen, listen. Okay. As soon as things, as things, as soon as things get a little weird, 
I need you to just switch gears and kill Beer Deli. At the very least, could you do that for me? Of course. And what you and by weird, do you mean like an undead chick hit it on you and you suddenly get a boner in your pants weird? No. I'll delete you you know, you know. Mitch is there nodding. <laughs> Darius like leans in close to um far when he whispers. Eh, hey, don't worry. If Mitchell Jefferson like goes like d full Daenerys or whatever, I have a few ideas on my own sleeve. Who's Daenerys? I don't know. Our <laughs> 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 DM has no fucking clue who anybody is in his own story. <laughs> Actually, it's a joke, but all right, it's meant to be like a reference. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. So Mitchell, <laughs> you forgot how to do Mitchell Jefferson, so we it's assumed fine. that you were actually losing it. It's fine. No, no. Problem. Just please, okay. Just pretty much like just just smoking a cigar. Okay. So, so, yeah, yeah. so Mitchell Jefferson like hides behind like a barrel to keep out of sight of the actual ship itself. You guys didn't hear anything about getting hauled on from an undead chick, right? Mm. No. Yeah, if it was yeah. from you, Thal, that honestly wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Do it away. Given your exploits, I say to myself while finishing my cigar, I just flick it into the water. Uh, okay. Really red? Oh, really yeah. red. Hey, it's, hey I, I, there's some way I had to ease the, my inner tension. You know, Alright, let's just... Rest. All right, let's just go and meet the Goblin King. And I'm Wait, how about Trigger Finger? Wasn't exactly reacting to you using a cigarette was reacting to how you discarded it. Yeah. It, yeah. It's 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 a human thing. It's what we do. Wow, quarter pint really sure is fast. <laughs> I knew uh, you well, I mean, he's a half like, have, I would assume it'd be Yeah, quarter pint. Yeah, quarter pint. Quarter pint just he poses over the water and shoots across the water to the others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, quarter pint. You uh, already say, want to oh, sure. animate this wait, scene, wait. don't you? Okay. Can you have Corp Punk say, I'm fat as fuck, boy? Oh dear god. <laughs> no, I'm not. This <laughs> uh, has to be a just... gotta go fast thing. Mm. Lol. No, okay, right. No, that's it's just for positioning. Okay, so the adventurers like go around the corner and they notice um, <clears throat> Jake the Baker. Ah. Uh, Jake the Baker. There's my okay, wonderful sous corner. chefs. <laughs> So like quarter pine and like Mitchell Jefferson, they ju they just kind of hug and shake hands and all that. Ah, Kim, there you are. You are here to help me with the cooking? I uh, suppose so. Ah, excellent, excellent. Right this way. No, no, no black sugar this time. No black sugar. Don't worry. I got a much more delicate dish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, wait, 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 wait. Can I roll? Can I roll like inside to see if Jacob Baker says something like suspicious? Uh, fine. Roll, in, roll inception. Roll. In well, not inception. What you call, what you call it? Um, insight. Insight. Oh, yeah. Insight. My bad. Insight. <clears throat> Jacob Baker seems like a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> As Kim passes by, though, um, he whispers. This is the plan, right? I, I forget. I, I kind of been out of it today. Okay, I'll tell you what the plan was from last session. Basically, you all agreed that you was going to prove that um, <clears throat> Beardelli is up to no good and he is, like, killing off other goblins and stuff for political games. to start trouble in the neighborhood. Yeah. Hey, by the way, is Mitchell Jefferson coming with us? Yeah. He's, like, he's... All, all, off, like, in the, no, in the he's corner like, just he's standing like there. He's, over there at the moment. I, I think he has something planned, but I have to make sure he doesn't go too far. Don't worry, I will keep a good eye on him, says Darius. Okay, so on the ship, you... Um, oh, God, I'm, I'm dreading this. So at the front, you, you see, like, a beer deli. Well, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> do you have a hey, beer? Uh, by the way, how was that pie? Did it taste good? Oh, it's n nothing compared to what tonight is going to taste like. I don't even know you Doesn't it taste like chocolate? No, good one. 
No, it's gonna taste really good. Let me tell you about it. Vanilla. <laughs> Look, okay, so me Suddenly Keen goes. <sighs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't care at all. I don't give a rat's tail. No offense, no, yeah. But right now. All of a sudden, you. Enough of this shit! <laughs> Shut it! Okay, Beer Deli? That's all a right, bold right, right, right. assumption, Beer Deli, for someone within breath weapon range. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the shadows at the at the base at, at like the back of the ship, you hear like oh you hear comes. you hear like I some footsteps. Has got something planned for this. Ooh, what we also, got? I'm having a small issue. Yeah, what? My roll twenty sheet is having a bit of a seizure. Mm. Re refresh the thing. Yeah, just refresh it. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah, uh, just refresh all. Character sheet. My my oh, yeah, character sheet. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah. Okay, I can't. Okay. One second. No, you refresh the, the the browser page. No, I think she's got like something IRL that. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh. Is everything all right? Hmm. No, no, I'm just asking. I think Mama Hornet's talking to someone IRL at the moment. Oh yeah. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. Oh, sorry about that. Mm. I tried to think of something interesting um, to sing or something to mock Beer Deli, but that was the best I could do. Okay, so you hear like like boots, like kind of like walking across the um, the deck of the ship, like mm. like 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 what? <laughs> I just know she said like five times in that sentence. <laughs> oh Jesus! Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Oh no. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, oh my what? god. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, absolutely marvelous for you to join us. You must be foe. I've heard so much about you, he says while shaking Jake's hand. He, he kind of looks a bit insulted. D don't you remember? And why would I remember you, I, Thal? I, 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 hi, I'm Thal. That's, that's Jake the Crack Baker. <laughs> crack Baker. <laughs> okay, so, oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. Oh, you must be Thal. I've heard such wonderful, chaotic things about you. And I heard wonderful things about your pants. Oh, yes, they are absolutely marvelous. Holy yeah. shit, he was right. Those things are tight. <laughs> yeah, you, you can... Oh, shoot, I have to give Phil this one for once. See, I told you. I told you guys. His pants are really tight. <laughs> I wonder if they're comfortable. Well, anyway... I'm not going to speak. <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, uh, no dogs allowed. What? Oh, that's yeah. I don't see no one. Quaintly, um, <laughs> in a moment's notice, she's just shifted Mincer all the way into, like, the, like, the back of her, um, like, she's wrapped Mincer in her scarf on her shoulder, and she's just sitting there, <laughs> standing there smiling a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have to roll something, or? No, 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 it's fine. <clears throat> okay. Okay, turns back to Maury and, uh, whispers. Don't stay by it, Thal. Um, I mean, no, Darius. <clears throat> no, if let's let us enter the ship. Ladies, the first. king says that he like leads everyone in. To Slavonic. You first, Jake. You know where the kitchen is. I don't. Beer. I, I'm still confused. What do you mean by <laughs> taste tonight? Does it? Well, it tastes like blueberries. I don't like blueberries. Mm. It will taste like. Revenge. It does revenge taste like, like mayonnaise? <sighs> no. No, Thal, revenge does not taste like mayonnaise. Okay. And what does revenge taste like? Okay, so I'm gonna swap the camera now. So um. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, so swap the camera. I think it's this, this one. Where we all get lost. Okay, pan now cameras for a sec, Reed. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Hmm. Oh, I've stopped existing. 
So yeah, I think I think we uh I think you, me and a few others might be on the deck, I think. I can't be certain. Oh yeah, there are. Let me yeah, let me add them, don't worry. It's all good. So <sighs> red it's taking a while to clear up for me. There we go. I'm gonna set the table over right here. So I can keep my distance okay. as to be formal in, in the presence of the god. Fuck you, Fleon! Okay. <clears throat> so, like, Jake the Bay. Roll of sausages, I see there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what were you saying, Sekrios? Okay, so we'll start off with the, uh, with, like, the king's room first. So, where is Mitchell Jefferson? Says the king, uh, looking towards Fal. Oh, he had, like, a bad case of diarrhea, so he decided to take care of business. And I assume that he sent you instead. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he just decided, though, I had to, I feel like a hose is coming out of my pants, so please go in my place <laughs> oh my I God. take care of my pants. Mm. I'm telling you, man, I, I tell you, man, I, I warned him about the chilies, but about eating the chili from Mac the Mansion. But oh yeah, also also for the sake of narrative, let me have Kima Sivlandis here. We might as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, so we're not in the kitchen yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So like... I told, I told him not to have the chilies, but he just said no. I love these chilies. Oh, uh, I can totally understand. The chilies aren't uh, pleasant in some departments. I've had my experience chilly. I say to myself. The Goblin King like looks over towards the little cobalt. And who might you be? Uh, <clears throat> uh, my name's King. King Baroneth. Such beautiful orange emeralds. He says as he like looks into your eyes. Uh, thank you, sir. I mean, your highness. I, I mean, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right there, little one. Tell me, you're not from around here, are you? Uh, wasn't that obvious? No, no, sir, I was not. Wait, wait, do I say hi? Your hi help me out here, King. Call me Jared. Uh, okay. Uh, um, Jared? No, Jared, I am not from around here. Game, I think he likes you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to make much. assumptions, though. But no, uh, King, I was from... I, I came here hoping to, um, well, um, spread my works and whatnot about my writings. I'm sorry, sir. I'm, I'm stuttering, stuttering like mad. <clears throat> I was a writer of books and documented things, and I was hoping to distribute them here, and then I... Um, well... Ran into a few certain weird events, and wouldn't you know it, here I am, embracing my bardic side. Oh, that sounds simply marvelous. You have a wonderful head on those shoulders. And thankfully, they're still attached to my neck. Believe it or not, back home at the maze, I have a library or two. Really? Yes, entire archives of fey knowledge from eons and centuries, etc. Definitely will have to mark that place down for another look. It would be my pleasure. Hmm. Now, uh, the matter at hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Sorry. <laughs> The other two were doing something. I just thought, you know what? Fuck it. Casually how did you make, How did you change it? How did you change it? I about? typed slash. I typed um backslash me space and then what I wanted. Oh my god! What have you awoken? <laughs> okay, so now at the matter at hand. Oh, actually, um, whoever's cooking the meals should get to the kitchen. Oh, right. <clears throat> Quarter pint, wait, um, I thought I just did that. Oh, wait, you mean in the kitchen? Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> we do that. Okay, I'll drag you over because it's kind of... Yeah. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> no. I keep forgetting, is it quarter pint or half pint? Quarter. Quarter. A quarter. Okay. 
Anyway. He's a quarter oh, governor. Yes, a quarter governor. Oh, yeah, Goblet King, just before I forget, my friend Red over here is interested in the snake lady, so he was wondering. Oh, are you now? Those yeah. creatures can be uh, quite vile. They go around and they have men crash into the rocks. I have lost entire martyrs to the likes of them. Hmm. What those were sirens, not snake people? As far as I know, I think... Well, pardon me for correcting you, your uh, highness. I believe you're actually getting conf uh, the Naga confused with uh, sirens. Granted, I've never encountered uh, sirens, They're distant I... cousins, at the very least. Hmm. Now, the matter of what's going on here. Whoever's in charge of this sector, I want you to stop your pathetic little turf war. Beer Deli kind of grovels. Um, Goblin King, the, uh... Oh, and, and that is why I believe that Beer Deli is the most qualified to be that schmuck who should cut it out. Okay. Okay. Thal mm. just... Thal stands up, does a Phoenix right pose saying, OBJECTION! Um, yes. I, oh. I don't know how I got this far. Game! Game, I need your help! Oh, uh, he cannot hear you, Fall. He's busy cooking a nice, delicious cake. I'll Mommy. be right back. I'll be right back. Game, I said objection, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't have legal mojo to prove it. I need your help, please. Oh, no. <laughs> I am done with this whole lawyer crap. Come Wait, on, game! Can you even Hold on! Where the heck did you even learn objection from? I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, he, um, Thal grabs came by by the neck and drags him back into the room. Wait, wait! I'm wait, 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 just wait, 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 I, I her seat, cake. just trying to understand the entirety of the situation. <laughs> So me okay while while Fowl and Keem were arguing, uh, the Goblin King like looks over to Nanya. You wanted to speak, young dear. Uh, no, I, I I probably end up saying something stupid. I don't have much knowledge of the situation. Okay, very well. All the knowledge of the situation. Come on, Keem, use your legal mojo, Jojo, to <laughs> disprove your <laughs> Dally's like royalty claim. Shit! D do it, please. I have no idea what you. Ah! Let go. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. Oh. Oh, I no, I do know. I, I honestly have no idea what he wants me to say now. I am totally okay. I'll start from the beginning. I believe that Beer Deli should be in charge of the district, since of the lines of lineage and all that. All right. Okay. Now I get it. Uh, Your Highness, I would have to, well, as Thal would say, object to that. And why is that? I may not be from around here, but I've spent around here long enough and been personally involved in certain situations to know that he is the least qualified to be put in this role. He is? I remember something about, uh, well, how about this? King leans forward. How would you feel about putting someone in charge who has conducted assassinations against fellow goblins? Without my permission, he looks at Beardelli. And then Beardelli looks back at him. Well, and, then, and then they both start laughing. <laughs> Organizing assassinations? When was this? Uh... Oh, that was... Oh, shoot. Hang on. Uh, what day was it? Uh, it, happen it, happened about two it happened about two days ago. Okay. <clears throat> well, let me ask you this then. Did you authorize any type of assassination in the last two days ago that involved black sugar and a candle in a cake? Mm. Beer Deli looks a little bit confused. The fuck's a black sugar? Uh, all right. It is apparently a delicacy around here, although it is very, well, can be quite combustible if exposed to a flame. I am well aware of the black sugar, but I have high doubts that Beardelli is a connoisseur of sweet tweets. Uh. His mouth 
received a dangerous explosion of gunpowder ages ago, breaking his sinuses. He isn't much of a food connoisseur, nor is he educated on such matters. Let me. Can I get the doctor certificate on that? Because that doesn't sound I mean, feasibly possible. Guys, <laughs> I mean, guys, didn't we have to deal with that situation with that one guy who was killed and then I got Tommy gunned? Is that what mm. you call it? One I'm moment, sure that's though. What you call it. Continuing on the subject at hand, that's because he had others do his dirty work. Against their will, might I add. You see, this spell I've learned from traveling here, although very creepy. I had to use it upon someone who had taken their life as they were blackmailed by said Beardelli. So I literally have comp confessions from a dead man that he was forced into this position by Beardelli. Hmm... Is this true, Beer Deli? Look. Okay, so good. Uh, look, boss, let me explain. It's totally not what it seems. When I left for your island about two years ago, I sent the ogre to run my operations. He has about two, no wait, three brain chromosomes. Hmm. <sighs> I beg your pardon, Beer Deli. My team thinks it is what it seems. So cut this bullshit. Let's get down to this. <laughs> I'm gonna try. She, right, she pops right on the shoulder, uh, right on the shoulder, and then just kind of whispers to him, "The note. The blackmail threat. The note." Red, are you there? Hmm. Oh, sorry, my character was I was thinking of something. He was. <laughs> oh, no, 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 nothing lewd. I was thinking of something. Like, like, no, oh my god! Yes, go on. It was more like investigative stuff. I'm trying to figure out if there's some way my character can figure out if Beer Deli's lying or not. Because you know, investigator, uh, he likes. Raw ro inside. Raw inside, dude. Well, I mean, they did try to burn evidence and then right. had insight. their men sh shoot me. Huh. Oh. He's an investigator, so he gets the 21. Yeah. Yeah, boy. What, what? Well, no, that's for investigation roles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Insight's yeah, different. Right. Inside. Sorry. Okay, so uh, Red looks at Beardelli, and every time you have asked questions involving what he has or hasn't done, he looks a little bit confused, like he's hearing information for the first time. Wait. Wait, my brain is working for once. Okay. Goblin King, how do you feel about Beer Deli persecuting and selling yeah, <clears throat> their own into, into possible blackmail and stuff? Well, if it's part of the family, then I object. If it's outside, then it isn't. Who was this individual? Okay, I'm just, um, out of character. I'm gonna, though, it's gonna bring up the time that Beer Deli got. Um, try to get him killed in one town. In that town, who? With Gilly was with Gilly was. Okay, wait. Who who who's he trying to kill? No, the the previous town in which Thor was accused of the crime, and Bill Daly and Gilly was trying to frame frame it on him. That time. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the goblin. So basically, Thor, you know, mentions about the incident, and then like the Goblin King's like. Well, to be fair, Fall, you only became a proper member of the family recently. Oh. The scheme hops up. So any... But doesn't that... But doesn't that... But doesn't that... Paint the fact that Bear Deli likes to screw people over? Well... Not the good kind. The make you feel sick to your stomach kind. Well, actually, some people see, actually there are times in which you still feel sick to your stomach, stomach doing it. Like the time I, mm. time I spend. Uh, a night all right, enough. Yourself. Enough. Okay. He's a goblin. Th this is what we do: blackmail, extortion, and all that. Unless you can prove that he has worked against the family, there is nothing that I can do that I would want to. Obviously, mm. he wa whaps his tail against red. Red, wake up! Mm -hmm. 
Oh, sorry, I was the note. Oh yeah, from the apartment oh, no. that they tried to burn down. I, I I open up my jacket and I pull like a small like folded up note we found from the apartment and I hold it up in my hand all dramatic like. So the, the Goblin King like reads it, puts on his green glasses and like looks through. Hmm. I want to read this, Your Majesty. I say as I pass it to him. Yes, this is indeed blackmail. Hmm. And it does say it's orders from Beer Deli, but that can't be right. I was with you the whole time on my private island. Wasn't that right, Beer Deli? That sure is. We played croquet and everything while I was bad mouthing my cousin. Hmm. Wait a second. Hey, can you know what? Can't... You know, wait, someone wait, can stop. pre make plans, right? Wait, can't all mm-hmm. roll inside to see if they're in cahoots with each other? Uh, all right, roll inside. Damn it. All right, they're. <laughs> They seem like they totally not working with each other. <laughs> Keen catching on to this uh, wrong judgment from Thal decides to have a close look himself. Hmm. Hold on a second. I didn't have my thing up. How do I do this again? All right, there it is. Sorry, it's been a while. Mm, that's fun. So it's insight, right? Yep, it's insight. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I sort of did an insight oh. check, so I have a... She kind of wants to look into it as well. Like, she's All right. trying to understand the situation herself, so... Meanwhile, I'm still in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, this vignette's kind of oh, gone. No. Okay, all right. So you have no idea what what's going on. You're, you're completely confused. And so I asked a simple question to see if I can understand this a little bit more. Hmm. Sir? Yes? Maybe a bit of a bizarre question, but... Um, uh, Keen uh, leans in and uh, beckons him to come closer. Were there by chance closets nearby? Like big wardrobes? Big enough for a person? But be hmm. with me. It is weird, I know, but think hard. Were there any nearby? Well, there were, when he was here for the two days, there would have been opportunities for him for some private alone time at around night time on both of those days so i mean it's within the realm of possibility but what does closets have anything to do with it have you ever heard of a closet pocket dimension oh you're talking about his stand Mm -hmm. uh so you're aware of that um traveling closet dimension thing right Yes. Most so you don't one, suppose yeah. he would have snuck off through one of those closet dimensions and ported over here to do his deed? And like Bear Daddy like leans in. And and why the hell would I even want to do that? Can I roll inside well, again? Um remember- Okay, one at a time. Can it can it uh, Bear Daddy just explain himself a little? Okay, yeah, 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 let's do that. Oh, I thought you were done. No, no. Mm. Let's evaluate the facts. For you see... Sorry, I'm getting my accents mixed up. Um, Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's like it's gone full sub. Okay. That's the thing, I can't do this 24-7. Like, this whole, like, trying to rap thing. Now, listen here, Kim. You got it all wrong. My plan had nothing to do with blackmail of any sort. I came groveling straight to the king, asking for his political favor. And here I am back with that deal. That's all I intended to do. You just, you just, you just obviously said you guys made a deal. Mm. What is that said deal? The deal is... Like the king, like weighs in. the 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 deal is that it was meant to be Beer Deli and Mitchell Jefferson would negotiate a deal on who got to be in charge. But since Mitchell Jefferson isn't here, and you're wasting my time with accusations of some sort of complicated conspiracy, it's really trying my patience. Well, it, with all due okay. respect, Your Majesty, when it comes to such a well major decision. I think you would do well to heed everyone's opinions. Because once this choice is made, it could be for the good or for the worst. I'm sure okay. you, all kings, would understand that. All right. 
Okay, throw the ball so. So if Mitchell Jefferson is here, right here, right now, within ten minutes, we can we can negotiate this. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. Uh, okay. Can we roll? All right. What do I need to roll to to have Thal sprint like man like a madman? Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna stop this vignette. I want to get some of the cooking done. So Jake, Jay Lucas. Hmm. Uh, Keem's taking too long. Okay, Sev. It looks like it's me, you, and Quarter Pint. We're going to cook a nice, delicious cherry cake. Okay, then. No black sugar, like Keem said. Yeah, no black sugar. Completely white sugar. Just just the way people normally cook their damn cakes. Good. Okay. Wait a second. So, what do you want me to do for, for this, then, Jake? Well, first off, I need you to uh, turn on the oven. Okay, then. <laughs> Goes up and does the whole burning hands thing. The oven turns on as he casts burning hands. Alright, I need you to uh, stir and whip this um, flour. Okay, where is, the, where is it? Is it? It's right, yeah, it's here. That's okay. the stirrer. Okay, me, meanwhile... Um, <clears throat> Meanwhile, Quarpine is like mixing some um, cake based spices. So roll yourself a dexterity check to see, and I'll add uh, two because you've been training in some cooking. Okay, so that's 17 in total. Yeah, okay. So Sev is. <clears throat> so Sev is stir and whipping and stir, whip, stir, whip, stir, whip, stir. And before yeah. long. <laughs> there we go. And he, um, he makes a pretty nice like base for the dough. Ah, oh, excellent. Okay, now just put that in the I oven. I feel like I should have a proficiency in this by this point. <laughs> no, no, you, you do. I added two to your thing. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, on my character sheet, so it's just like, you know, I have sort of, like, cooking experience. That'll happen after the arc for future adventures. Mm. Okay, then. Okay, so... Okay. <sighs> okay, so Jay's like, ah, oh, excellent. Now put it in the oven and we can raise the flour. Mix it in their oven. I, oh, wait, wait, wait. Like, cool point, like, comes in and, like, mixes the spices in. Oh, yeah. There we I go. I forgot about that. <clears throat> then I stick it into the oven. Okay, so, like, they, they wait around for a little, but then, like, the cake's done. Meanwhile, they just hear all the, like, the characters, like, arguing in the other room. Sounds like, sounds like something Except really important. Except no idea what's going on. Sounds like something really important's going on in there. I sometimes feel like I should be part of it, but is this kind of a calling for me that I sh that I'm here doing this? Oh, don't worry. This entire thing is a calling. Cooking for royalty, making a nice, delicious cherry cake. I've been waiting for this moment for years. Murder. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Wait a second. What? Oh shit! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Can we get the vignette done before anything else? All right. Yeah, I, no, I think I know what's going on. Ooh. Okay, all right. So the um, so the cake comes out. It's really nice. Ah, Sev. I think it's done. You want to bring it out? Um. Okay then. So Sev brings out the cake. It's it's pretty nice. Well, hold on. no, 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 not like that. He has to put it on the tape. He has to put it on the uh, work counter. <laughs> okay, puts it on the work counter. Oh, no, no, it's over here. Oh, over there. <laughs> Should be more specific, Jake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> so let me just switch this over. There we go. <laughs> There's a nice little cherry cake. That's a cherry cake? It looks like a pie. That does honestly look like a pie. I know there's not many there's there's not many yeah, pictures to be read. <laughs> so like so Jake you know does his magic and well not magic but you know he he gets in and he like um he like puts this like uh, icing over it and then he like puts like a nice little cherry on top. Ah there we go. Crimson cherry cake. An absolute delicacy fit for a king. <sighs> I'll be totally honest I thought we were going to be doing a black forest but whatever. Hmm. So who wants to do the honors? A quarter cool pint like raises his hand. Oh me, me. Are you sure you can carry a quarter cool pint? No, sure I can. I'll I'll keep I'll escort him and make sure that if he does have any trouble he doesn't drop it or anything. 
Okay, so I'm going to roll for quarter pie to see if he can pick up the damn cake. Let me move this out of the way. I'm trying to... It's like I can't seem to click on quarter pie because he's underneath. Okay, strength. It looks like he just threw... It looks like he okay, so he's barely like holding on to it, but like, Sev, roll your, um, roll your dexterity to make sure that you can keep it balanced. This is where I fail! Uh, it, it begins. It begins to like tip over. Like like Jake furiously like like rushes in. Oh my god! Okay, I'm putting this underneath. It's the only way I could get this to work. You ever had that where like you're trying to? Okay, there we go. So so Jake like leans in and tries to catch the cake. Oh my goodness! Okay, he manages to catch like catch the top and push it back into balance. Oh, be careful, you two. Sorry, this cake is being very uncooperative for some reason. It's 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 it's, it's like a two decker. Ooh, one of those big cakes. Okay, so as Fall was uh, running to the door, he had some sort of crazy thought. No, oh, stop! Yeah. It's sh wrong way. It like, ooh, no, Fall, like, Fall, you're going the wrong way. Um, <laughs> so far, okay. okay. So he he like runs out out to the front of the ship. No, no, it's it's here. So Where? that door's the front. Yeah. So the back, the back, the entrance is there to here. Like, don't worry. Okay. So <laughs> so Fal runs out. Then he yeah. thinks, and then he runs back in. Wait a second, Bear. Are you honestly sure you have no idea what's going on? Okay, so like Bidelli like straight up tells him, "I'm not, I'm not doing this thing anymore. Seriously, isn't it's not meant to get a rhythm going?" So like, um, so like basically he tells him straight up that he has no idea what this whole blackmail business is. Kim, when that person died, who was there with you? Wait, what are you saying? No, Paul, I'm around here. Oh, sorry. I'm saying. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. I have an idea. Mm. Um. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Go on. I'm saying I, I fucking hate Bear Daly's guts, but there's a possibility that maybe, just maybe, he might be telling the truth. Yeah, there's some. So, what were those things that you said at when you said you could? Keem leans in. What, 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 you couldn't tell Mitchell Jefferson. Ah, about there's a spy. Duplicates. Yeah. Are you saying someone's impersonating him? Not, not a person named Bear, but someone else. Before, <clears throat> before. Before um, I talked to you guys, I talked to Jake the the crack crack guy. <laughs> crack crack. <laughs> what? When did this come along? Okay, okay go on, go on. Be, uh, Jake the crack guy. You mean the he cook? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I I don't know why I keep saying that. Um. Okay. Okay. Whatever. 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 Just just go on. What are you talking about? He told me he told me something about how the goblins and the orcs used to get along until the goblins screw them over, not the good type of uh, good type of screw over, but the betrayed type of screw over. And he put a strong emphasis on me taking over. And notice and notice how I I don't I don't this I, this is so strange using my brain for once. God damn it! Um, but. He it's okay, Phil. Just stay with me. Keep on that train of thought. <laughs> He's and trying to when... like go on. And then when Jake <clears throat> when the Goblin King introduced himself to Jake, did you notice how Jake got really, really irritated, almost angry? You know you don't think Jake is planning something? Or are you saying that someone's impersonating Jake? I, I, I don't I'm know. Confused here. I don't know, but I don't think Jake, Jake the, Jake the Baker is really Jake the Baker. He may be Jake the Killer, the Jake the Dabber, Jake the Betray. I don't Wait, know. Okay. Jake, 
Okay, just hold on a second. Just so I'm clear here. Are you either A, saying that he might not be Jake and is someone else? Or are you saying B, Jake is in on this? I don't know it. Whole thing. I don't. He was responsible for the... Wait. That would make sense. I mean, think about it. He would have, of all cooks, would know that you should not put a candle near black sugar. He would have known that. I don't like this. I, I need to go see Jake. Okay, all right. So before any of them had a cha chance to do anything, like the Goblin King, like Willie goes, See, this is what I've been trying to tell you. Beardelli is incredibly trustworthy. Ah, there's a spy! He is my right-hand man. Uh, then he looks at both his hands, and then he looks at Beardelli, and then he knows something's up. Beardelli is sitting on his left. I said, right-hand man. The fuck are you doing, Beardelli? And don't, don't look at me. Uh, then all of a sudden... Like, he had a really, like, uneasy feeling about the entire, like, just where he is. What's up with that clock? He, like, points at the clock of the wall over here and notices that the hands and all the numbers are in backwards. What the hell's going on? Hmm? Wait, Did we what? come out with the cake yet? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so, yeah, so now, the okay, so here's what happens. Uh, so, um, Sev and Quarterpoint and the cake, they, like, come out of the room to the... No, no, not there, not there. Go, go back. <laughs> so, Sev opens the door. Red, can I ask you for a favor? Mm hmm Hold on. You know how in JoJo Part 4, Jelske punched the spaghetti? Mm. I wonder if my stand could do that. Okay, all right, can I just uh, get, get through this train of thought? Okay, so Sev, like, creaks open the door as, like, menacing letters comes out. And to his shock, the entire room in front of him is empty. Wait, what? But how did that happen? We would... Where is everybody? Wait, what's going on? Like, J Jake, like, walks in and goes, No! No, what is this? Stop moving me. What, what the f... <laughs> what the fuck? Quarterpot's like, Huh? But he was here, he was... Yeah, where is everybody? Where's everybody gone? I just immediately rush down and I try the door because I'm assuming that... Now, hold on, hold on. So, okay, all the people look up into the ceiling and they notice that this decorative, like, mirrored, like, panel across the entire ceiling, they could see each other, but they're, like, mirror-reflected. What oh the hell? My god, wow. Wait a minute. What is going on? Can, can I make a check to see if, it, if it's like an enemy stand so I can, so I can say the word? Okay, roll, roll investigation, see if you can figure it out. Okay. It's an enemy stand. Alright, I look up and... It's an enemy stand! What the hell?! I throw Should myself off ready? my chair dramatically. Team reaches for his usual weapons but realizes they're backwards. Wait, what the fu- What the- What? <laughs> Mincer's actually a secret Pokemon. Heard about in Goblin, Italy. What the hell is this shit? Oh great, another stand attack. This always happens. <laughs> this happens often to you, sir? Yes. Can, we, can I hear anything that's going on with this? Wh which way, Rat? Right? Yeah, um, can we hear each other in the different mirrors? Uh, they sound a bit echoey, but they do kind of like, reverberate what they're saying from one mirror end to the other. So hold on. Who's... Cast whose stand is it? That's that. That's the problem. Someone oh, yeah, in this room. I threw myself from the chair, so I'm standing. Hey, Paul, did you? Uh, mm. Did Mitchell ever mention that he had a stand or anything? No, he never mentioned to me that he had a stand. And I would. He always know. don't know whether or not he does. He always do those fancy dance moves. I don't know if he has a stand. Okay, so the Goblin King is wrong. Okay, I had enough of this shit. So like, so the Goblin King like walks and he like, you know, he goes straight to a wall and then he, oh, which one is it? Oh, so <laughs> Does he just walk start walking up the right angle or something? Yeah, yeah, he walks up, he walks up the wall with his spider climb in eight ability, he, like just walks up and like walks around to the ceiling, to the mirror and back into the other dimension. Oh, but I mean that he would come from here. Oh, yeah. He would come from here. 
Boo. Like Quarpine just back. Ah! And drops the cake. Oh, what a waste of a good cake. Don't eat that cake! Mm. Huh? Oh, I don't plan to. I recognize Crimson Cherry anywhere. Isn't that right, Jake? Mm. Oh, so you do remember after all. Wait, Jake was a stand user? How can I not Hold detect on. a stand? I knew there was something funny about the way you acted back at the party. Shut the you fuck were... up! He just he just you points furiously. He's just being <laughs> nervous about serving for royalty, but you've been in on this the whole time. Hmm. I don't... Well, how Team come I can't detect a stand? You're the one that spiked the fucking cake with all the black sugar! I should have known! As a cook, you would have known! How did I not place that together? And if you would have known, you would have known that this day was coming for a very long time. You don't know him, Keem. You don't know him like I do. Can I Quarter the pint, floor? get behind me. This mm. is going to get nasty. Quarter pint just takes a step forward and like aims a crossbow at Sev. <laughs> Keep uh... the fuck out of this. What? Holy shit. Whoa, wait, Quarter that Pine's was... on this? Totally unexpected. Um, oh, that's a by the this. way, um, uh, Zacharias. Yeah. I have spider wife climb. Can I cast spider climb and climb the wall up? Uh, can we let the cutscene play out first? There's like a lot of conversation going. <laughs> Zacharias has got to tell his story first. <laughs> He's got to no, 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 the flow of his story. Zacharias, go on. Detect uh, Jake the Baker's stand because. Okay, uh, okay. It's like, it's like the stand users can detect other stand users. Okay, kind of. so based on his innate ability to detect stands as a stand user, it, Jake is not the stand user. Then who's the stand user? Pint. Okay. So. What? <clears throat> Quarter qu Halfling? One at a time, I'm like trying to. You're already, sorry, you're like. Okay, so Quarter Point is aiming the crossbow at Sev, and he's all like. Don't you know what the son of a bitch has done to us? He, he's enslaved by people. The precious half league people of Old Shire. Ma, Pa. How could you do this? We. And, well, Keem in particular trusted you. If Keem knows what our operation was, he would understand. Like, Jake, like, weighs in as well. The Goblin King is an irredeemable monster. If you knew what he has done, you would understand this entire operation has to fall. Then tell us! Please! We can't- I can't take any more of this! Well, you... Okay then, explain yourselves. What is it that he's done that is so bad that warrants this massive plot to try and kill him? It happened a long time ago. Unfortunately, I can't play music. Yeah. Nah. Uh, which one? Flashback. Flashback music. Wait, 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 wait. Um. Flashback. Flashback. <laughs> like everything's like in sepia tone. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> it happened so long ago that I will have to describe it in sepia tone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. All right, okay. okay. All right, let me turn down the music. It's a little loud. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna try my best not to properly monologue and just have the scene play out, just so you know what he's kind of saying without him actually saying it. Mm -hmm. So um, the Goblin King shows up with like two armed grunts. Oh, if it isn't Mr. Baker. Yes, and what do you want? You know exactly what I want. How is the protection money coming along? Um, it, it, it's there. Let me just, uh... Yes. The Goblin King, like, takes a step and then looks out to the child. Don't worry, goons. I'll be with you in a moment. So, like, the grunts, like, just kind of go into the house and, like, the Goblin King, like, like goes out to this, like... Young, like, white-haired child. Who might you be? Oh, why, why, I'm Jake, sir. Oh, is that so? Tell me, what are you playing? Uh, I'm pretending to be uh, a king, sir. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, why pray pretend when you could be the real thing? Here, he, he like takes off his crown like puts it on Jake's head. Oh, wow, really? Oh, don't keep it. This is only, uh, only playtime and all. So, as king, my liege, what would be your first decree? Hmm. I was thinking of making a few, uh, columns for my throne room. Oh, excellent. Genius idea. We don't have any stone around, but perhaps we could plant two trees, perhaps. Wow, really? Would you help me? Oh, oh yes, I would be happy to. The king gets out a couple of shovels. Which he just happens to so be conveniently carrying on him. Yeah. So they start like teleport into the nether realm. Yeah. So so like the two of them just start like digging downwards. So what's it like being a king? You make a lot of enemies down this road. But sometimes you could see like the beauty in the most horrible of things. Eventually, like while digging, they make it to like they make it to some bedrock, kind of like Minecraft or some shit. <laughs> How far down are they? How, how, how big are these trees going to be, and how far down do they have to plant the seeds? Okay, not that deep. I already know where this is going, okay. and this is dark. All of a sudden, like you hear like a few like gunshots in the in the little house, pop, pop, like that. Uh, what was that noise? Hmm. It seems that your parents are having a party. We'll join them soon. Oh yes, we need to get the special seeds for the columns. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> like you hear some arguing and all that, and then like after like a good like twenty minutes, like a, some grunts like walk out with some sacks. Yeah, this will do just nicely. Oh wow, are those the seeds? Yes. So like the grunts like go in and they like bury the sacks. Oh. Yep, I knew that's exactly yeah, what Yeah, I can happening. see where this is going now. I would like to have my crown back now. Uh, yeah, sure. You can run along inside now. I'd imagine it would be supper soon. Oh, and before I go, just remember, fun and games is fun and all, but don't fuck with the king. <laughs> One way that's one thing to say to a small child. The free the free leave in the distance. Rock medieval times there's you know fantasy like that. I don't think um I don't think it's out of the ordinary. Hey Ma! Pa I Huh? Ma? He, he, he seems to know if the entire house is bare. And he like looks around and he's completely bewildered. Holy shit. You've got to be kidding me. This, this monster needs to be put down. This entire goblin establishment needs to be put down. Enslavement, rackets, protection, the whole fucking lot of it. Okay, but I'm still really confused about what's actually going on here. Like, what does Mitchell Jefferson have to do with any of this? I mean... It was him that was being targeted, right? You just don't get it, do you? It's systemic. No, that's why I'm asking. Okay, so basically, Jake explains it on a systemic level. Like, the goblins are, like, just pricks. And, like, he, he's explaining how, like... Look, you could, you could understand, Sivlanus. This criminal infrastructure, it hurts innocent lives. It has been a cancer throughout all of the realms. I am ending this once and for all. Um. Go on, uh, Nania. Is it genociding the goblins racism? Mm -hmm. I honestly wouldn't have said... I mean, if you kill him, I sort of just gesture over to the Goblin King. Yeah. That's going to create a power vacuum. I mean, I know I was mm. kind of like, yeah, you know, screw the whole system, but this has gotten way deeper than what it was like 10 minutes ago, and 
Yeah, I don't think doing this is really going to solve anything. You're just going to make things worse. That's precisely where you're wrong, Sivlanus. The people of Rungard had enough of being under the boot of those goblins. Entire cultures of people just wiped off the face of the earth, turned into slaves. But not anymore. Rungard's going to be protected. And I have the answer. All of a sudden, like, uh, some, like, grunts start showing up. They're wearing, like, some, some kind of cultist clothing. You see, my name isn't Jake the Baker. Not anymore, at least. I've already signed my allegiance, and I plan to change this entire political structure from the ground up. Under a new boot, under a new heel, under the people. The name's Jake the Ripper. <laughs> I knew it. Kind of Thor was story. right! Thor was right! <clears throat> Red, how do we break out of this? Hmm. I don't know. From judging, from Hold judging on what a second. I, I, I'm serious. Thor actually nicknamed him Jake the Ripper, and he was right! Well, yeah. that is some foreshadowing. <laughs> anyway, yeah. us, um... Hmm. So basically, Jake, Jake like turns to the Goblin King. So another scene plays. So like, <clears throat> so like all the grunts like come in with like these scrolls on them, and he's telling them, "Quickly, this is our chance. Take him out like that." So like these all these uh, cultists like run in with the Goblin King cornered, and he like turns to Jake. I mean, he's by a door. Yeah. Well, the, like the door's a little shut. It's like kind of opens the other way. So the Goblin King's like, "I highly do not advise that." You're going to regret it, every last one of you. You don't scare me anymore. You will haunt my nightmares no longer, you. So, like, all, all, all the uh, cultists, like, bring out these scrolls. They turn out to be fireball scrolls. Light them up. Yeah. Fuck it, fuck. Oh, you can't roll um, perception. No, no. Hang, on, no, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to try something first. I want to try something first. I want to try something first. All right, all right, Seb, you can do something. What is it? Um... Three, Quarter is already ready for you, so as soon as you... As soon... Finish your sentence, Zacharias, otherwise I'm going to think that you're... Doing as soon as you try anything, Quarter Pint will probably shoot you right in the abdomen for an insta-crit. Oh, that's... Yeah, we're all just looking upwards oh, right now. Oh, in that case, different idea. <laughs> different idea. I was going I think to use we have the same. I think we have the same idea. I was going mm. to... Yeah, dragon laser. What's dragon, dragon laser? What's dragon yeah, laser? Dragon laser. What's okay. dragon laser? We both look up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we just sort of both... I look up and she looks up at me and we just sort of you both nod. You know what nod. a weapon is, right, Sacrius? Yeah. They're going Do you see where we're positioned? Oh, so you're going to shoot towards uh, quarter point from the... Yeah. yeah, okay. And, so I'm I, um, and I'm effectively just going to do acid breath weapon straight along here. I'm just going to do it straight up so it targets them directly in that area. Yep, and I'm going to do the exact same thing, but in a more sort of direct line, like I said, ac straight across here. Sorry about this quarter pint. <gasps> <laughs> so, so wait, wait, what, what, what is um? Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. So, who's attacking who? So, like, um, um I'm to attacking direct here. I think I'm doing that right now. So, you're attacking. Who are you attacking directly? Are you attacking Jake? Direct here. So, you're attacking Jake, basically. Yeah, but that's like a, that's five foot, or in a five foot radius. So. All right. Well, Jake. Okay, just to let you know, we're currently in cutscene mode, so it isn't... Above them. Oh, we're in cutscene mode still. We, we are in cutscene mode, but the events can still play out based on the decisions you're making. So, mm -hmm. I'll, te so I'll tell you how it plays out, right? So Jake, um, Jake, being an assassin, uses his invasion to do a dexterity saving throw with an... I think it also comes with the evasion advantage. Let me see, so... Dexterity saving. So Jake must have been a rogue in a past life. So with the advantage, that's 25. So he like jumps out the way as the shot goes down. So who, who went... So wait, if she went first... Okay, so so Jake like rolls out of the way and it kind of alerts like quarter pine a little. It would have hit quarter pine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, is it oh, yeah. is it a five same... Okay, so he, he, gets, um, he gets burnt. How much damage is that? Um... 
Two d six on a failed save. Okay, two d six on a failed save. Okay. The DC is eight plus the Constitution modifier plus the proficiency bonus. Mm. That might have also hit. If Jake went that way, this that far, it would have hit. Jake. Okay, it says twelve on yours, so I'm gonna base it on that. So a yeah. quarter pint. Okay, he fails the dodge, so quarter pints hurt. Whoa, like that. And he takes two d sixes. Let me roll two d six. Dead. No, that's it. Quite. You want to kill him? And don't forget, you've also still got mine going in a straight line. So. Okay. God. Oh my. <laughs> and it's also don't forget, it's also going to hit all these guys as well. Hmm. So. Okay. Okay. Here's what. Here, here's what we go. Here's here's what we're gonna do. Okay, Sev, you're going to roll initiative, and I'm going to roll Jake's initiative. Whoever gets higher. You want you want quarter pint to survive this, basically, don't you? No, I'm just thinking, Jake. You wouldn't be fiddling around with this if you didn't want quarter pint to survive this somehow. Uh, me. <laughs> could we? Could we just see? Here's the thing: we didn't establish an order whatsoever. That's the thing. You're like you're, you're you're literally saying all your moves first, and that in theory could insta kill everyone. We did it at the exact same yeah, guys. time. Guys, yeah, yeah just... that's what that's what they agreed on because they looked up and they nodded at each other. So this is done simultaneously. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. I guess. All right, ro roll your acid breath. Well, technically, I have. He's got to do it on a wait. Hang on. What's my proficiency bonus? Okay, my proficiency bonus is three. Eight plus Constitution modifier. Um, so that's still 12. No, on yours, shouldn't it be... No, the, according to the breath weapon, the DC for the saving throw equals 8, plus your constitution power. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's 12. 12. Okay, still 12, alright. Oh. So in that case, uh, they all have to roll DCs of above 12 to get out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Or it's take half damage. And on a successful save, they take half as much damage. Alright. Mm. Okay, he failed... He failed. He failed. failed. This one at the back survives, and now I'm gonna do quarter pint, which happens to also be a cultist. Okay, there we go. So, so it goes, it go, goes across. So it goes. So but these they three. Still take, they still take half damage. They do take half damage. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna do one roll, and I'm gonna apply it to all of them. So two d six. Oh. <laughs> oh damn! Oh damn! Okay, Ooh. the quarter point is like completely covered in acid. Oh, okay. This one. Fire, acid melting. The other, like these get, these get. Sorry, Sacrius. Let me see. So wait, these three are dead. Yeah, those three are dead, and this that one's... one's taken six damage and it's like plastered <laughs> partially against the wall in acid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So then, out of his last strength, he then casts, like, the last... Because you failed to kill all, all four of them, this one tries to cast his fireball scroll. However... <clears throat> Let me just skip ahead to the song a little. This is great. Okay. Mm, foolish cultist. I do not fear the likes of you, as, as he's like charging up his fireball, aiming it at the Goblin King. Dance, magic, dance, dispel. He summons it. He summons his. He summons his Stan. David Bowie as his Stan. And it's Ziggy too, which is better. Yeah. And awesome. Behold my stand, dance, magic, dance. All magic is dispelled. Like so, all the magic like disappears from the scroll. And like the the cult is just gonna like slumps down, and for that I banish you to the bog of eternal stench. Like he just sucks him up into like a pocket this dimension. Is the labyrinth. Yeah. The, the labyrinth. The Goblin King was a reference to David Bowie's character in the labyrinth, anyway. And to the yeah. land of stench. Uh, yeah. a ter bog of eternal stench. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Jake completely like. Like shocked at this turn of events, he drops a smoke grenade and like runs out. Hang on, can I try and see if I can grab him? Okay, you have disadvantage because of the smoke screen, but go ahead. Uh, what would I need to roll dexterity? Yeah, roll dexterity to see if you can grab him. You fail. 
No, not nimble enough. Hey, where do you think you're going? Just sort of clumsily grabs at the smoke. Meanwhile, um, Beardelli is kind of like sneaking off. Oh, this shit's getting a little crazy. Oh, where do you, wait, where wait, you wait, going? Wait, wait, sir. R hold on. Wait, sir. We had the roll stealth. He has to roll stealth. I, but I mean, he's going out the wrong door. No, um... <laughs> Yeah, he is. He, he's, a, he's an idiot. That's the point. He's like, oh, I need to get the fuck can out I, of here. Can I roll perception? Um, yeah, roll perception. <laughs> he's going up the wrong door. If you could get past 10. <laughs> yeah, same. I want to roll if perception. I can get Both past roll view perception. perception. You're the only two doing it, alright? Oh, mm. damn it. Oh. Okay, Narnia notices. Oh, yeah. Um, beer deli, wrong door. Huh? <laughs> other, other, other room. Uh, the mirror. Like, he aims a beret goes, Don't try me, like that, as he, like, pushes open the door. No, wait, be oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> wow, Eva, I want to make a mistake like that. Okay, so how the hell do we get out of here? Hmm. Well, it seems that the mirrors act like a door, right? Yeah. Well, if one of us can somehow reach those mirrors, we could probably I get can. to the other side. I can. Yeah, yeah. What, do you, what do you have planned? Wait, hold on. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. So the Goblin King kind of like looks at the other adventurers. So tell me, what do you plan to do about this whole assassination business and all that? <sighs> I guess, uh, I guess, well, I guess we have to find Jake then. Tell me, theoretically speaking, what happens after that? He said an awful lot of bad, slanderous things about me. And I intend to find answers, personally with you. Are you sure 300 gold wouldn't settle it? Don't try to barter me, okay? Oh, that is such a damn shame. What such a... was wrong, but you're still not off the hook either. Yeah, I'm, I'm, per I'm personally putting you under investigation, Goblin King. Um, I mean, once we get Jake, I could set him on fire. I, I know that's one of, like, the worst ways to die. Wait, stop! Yeah. I'm with, We're not I'm talking with, execution I'm with here. with Joe in the chat. Three hundred gold. Wait, wait, wait. Cheapskate. Wait, wait. Well, uh, well, yeah, I'm wrong. Hmm? So the so the mirror. So um, the doorway is the ceiling, right? Yeah. All right. So can I roll athletics? <laughs> Pure Dilly walks ball? back in after realizing his mistake. Okay. So the goblin. Hold on. So the go here's the thing. I'm, I'm trying to keep in the flow of the conversation. You're suddenly trying to do actions at the same time. Okay. So oh, the gob yeah. So the goblin king is like. Oh, that's such a darn shame. You should have took the money. Hey, Dilly, forget the whole agreement. If you kill these fuckers, I'll make you Godfather. Gods? What? What? He sold us out. So he got, a bit early, he comes in. What, really? Like that, and he, he like comes in and his stand shows up. Bear Dilly, come on. It's not gonna go down well. Now, I'm off to make my escape. Like, he notices that, like, Quarpine is still breathing. Oh, and if you still have any feelings for your halfling friend, I recommend that you resuscitate him. I immediately just run over to the door and just put my arms out and just go, You're not going anywhere. Do you wish to try me, Sev? Setting the door on fire. Goblin King, I need to ask you something. Yes? Just tell me. Was it just business? Or did you have something personal against him and his family? Wait, which person are we talking about? Uh, Quarpint or Jake? Jake. We're talking. I'm talking about Jake. Jake's father has had a gambling addiction. He was getting on my nerves. But to be fair, it was not my order that he died. One of them just got a little trigger happy. Maybe he defended his wife from something. I can't quite put my finger on it because the guards are never really honest with me about anything. Still... Oh. You made I can him, hardly wonder You tricked why. him into burying his own fucking parents! I don't- I did him a favor. No, I don't give a shit if it was your fault or not. You still made him bury his own parents! I don't give a shit. You have to answer for that! And tell me this. Would you rather go after me or would you rather save your friend? Time's ticking, Keem. Wait, I'm going to do both. I save my friend, and then I'm coming for you. No, uh, mm -hmm. um, so gob so Gaul said, "Hey, Goblin King." Yes. 
as soon as I come, as soon as I break out of this, I'm coming from you, and I'm re and I'm changing this fucking system. I'd like to see you try. Oh, uh, Sev. Uh, like, like, here's the thing, he, he then, like, bring, he, like, here's the thing, you notice that all this time he's been, like, playing around with his crystal balls, and just in half conversation, he then uses, you have to roll wisdom. All of us? No, no, just Sev. His own creation. Oh, God. S wisdom saving through of 17? It's very, it's very effective. It's one of his top abilities. Don't worry, it doesn't kill you. It's, it's part of the thing. Oh, okay. Um, wisdom saving? No, it's uh, it's only it's only Sev. He just wants Sev out of the way. I only, I only... Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Talking about denying faith. Go Sev! Woo! Curses! Like like he, so he's like he's like trying to shine the balls and like he, it's like Sev's just totally unfazed by it. Bitch, please, I'm a motherfucking Denied. warlock, and now I proceed to kick him in the balls. <laughs> and he's wearing tight pants. So oh shit! Really yeah. Painful as shit. <laughs> okay, roll your strength. I just Not did. Shot. Oh yeah. Um. Oh. Okay, I'll I'll give him like free damage. Oh wait, why do? Hold on, his his health isn't showing up. <laughs> oh, I see his name. No. Okay, so he just lost. Uh, yeah, we can't actually see his health. So yeah. Yeah. I, I, there it is. There it is. Captain Juice, oh my god! Good old Captain Juice. Stop playing with Stop your balls. <laughs> this isn't a bad DBZ dub. <laughs> okay. Balls yeah. are dub the DBZ film where they actually refer to them as crystal balls rather than dragon balls. Okay. I don't remember that. That was in one of the games. Anyway, back, back, back to the. Okay, episode. so we're now going to try and like roll the different initiatives. Okay. Now that we could have a proper fight, now that we've arranged that entire melodrama. Kick the goblin king in the balls. I feel accomplished today. <laughs> oh, I don't die again. Ever, ever, that ever, always ever. happens. All right. How do I roll initiative? Left click on yourself. Your then bring up your. Oh, actually, bring up your character sheet. And then yeah. uh, make sure you have yourself clicked before you click initiative. Damn. So I roll the eight. We both roll eight, Seth. I got a fucking six. Oh fuck! I've actually got a good roll this time. Ooh, nice. Is it the crystal ones or he's nuts? These is nuts. <laughs> Oof, the nuts sick. I am whole. Just Mincer ends up being a fucking Pokemon, just like or like a Digimon or some bullshit. As everyone rolled yeah, their initiative. Your Red. I have a stand and I just throw at Mincer and he just fucking electrocutes the entire room. <laughs> Hey, Red. Oh, that's something. Or better yet, you throw it at one of one of the guards' face. Minza just lands on there, sort of just flops against his face, and then you just hear this. Ha! Huh? Huh, that's weird. Red's isn't coming up. Oh, I know there is. So I couldn't see it. Uh, oh, descending. Now. Yay! I, cool. I couldn't see it. Okay. Fair so enough. the Goblin King is going first for the thing. Okay. We get any music? <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, Sev, the irony is. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see if I can play some good music. Um, fuck it, no, I'm just gonna keep playing the same one until... Okay. Okay, so the Goblin King goes first. So the Goblin King, like, stares down Sivlanus. You insolent magic caster, let me show you what real magic is like. Oh god, this is gonna be one of Sacrius's bullshit one-shot spells, isn't it? No. Thankfully. That crystal ball thing, um, if I re if I remember Sekiro's correctly, was his best one. Yeah, and you 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 trumped it. You completely that that was brilliant. It like a fucking champ. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. You completely Donald it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So dance magic like shows up like next to like Sev, and goes in for a flurry of punches, and goes past his AC. Calls yeah, it. that goes well past my AC. Twelve damage. <laughs> He knocks you out of the way as well. He then uses his moves to like step out the door. Now it's time to get the rest of my guards. Like he, he takes a step outside and notices that both his guards have been killed. Oh yes, right, an entire group of cultists came in. 
that does kind of explain a few things. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Might That's have... a neat shit moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it is now Nani's turn. Um, shit, now he's not in the room. Nani, get up here, please! Oh yeah, also, I'm gonna give Court. I'm give spider climb the wall. I'm gonna give Quarter Pine uh, an initiative just for his death saves. Ooh. Hoping I can spider climb the wall. Okay, I'll put him at the bottom though, so don't worry. All right, spider climb. You want to spider? Okay, so none here spider climbs the wall and makes it to the other side. That's just like the noise I make for like if they want to enter the mirror. Do you have any? Okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to go as a Goblin King, or do you want to uh, sort out um, Quarter Pint? Oh, I don't have any healing spells. Damn. You can give him advantage for his next death roll by assisting. Sure. Okay. I'll assist. Like try to like try to help him up or something. Yeah, she she's trying to like do the uh, that staying alive thing. <laughs> staying alive. Okay, Red's turn. No, just electrocute right. his chest. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Red, what do you want to do? Hands together, it's like, clear! Oh, Red, by the way, you you could keep yourself safe in the in the mirror dimension, or you could, like, go after the um, goblin guards, because they're going to come after you as well. Well, I, I might as well take care of the enemy in the room right now, so I will summon my stand. Okay. Weird science! Do -do. Do -do. Okay, let me just bring out weird science. Yo, XCO! No! <laughs> okay, what do you want to do with your stand? Which move? Uh, uh, I'm gonna do uh, punches. Let me just. I already have his character sheet up, so I'm gonna roll that. For, like, the one that. Uh, that From based on the token, he's gonna attack the one that's near the barrels, like, right there. Alright, fair enough. So he goes in for, like, a flurry of punches. Alright, all right, I'm gonna roll that. And. Yeah! <laughs> oh, and it's critical, so let's see it. Yeah! <laughs> well, I clicked it. Ah, oh, here we go. So 13 yeah. plus 14. So that's about... 27. Okay, so Damn. minus 27. So he beats the fuck out of the Goblin Guard and you hear all, all the flesh like bouncing around in the metal suit of armor. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like that, it's like a, like a pinball machine. <laughs> Actually... Rattling around inside the helmet. I'll play this one. Okay, here we go. So he's severely hurt that one. It is now... What is the stand called again? Uh, the Goblin... Science. It's the Goblin Knight's turn. Ugh, no skeleton scares me. So the Goblin Knight gets out his, um, gets out his great sword and starts swinging in a multi-attack. Yeah, he goes past your AC for the first one. Uh, let me check the stand real quick. What AC does he have? Okay, he doesn't make it past the second one, so let's see okay. what the first attack is at least. So he, d he deals a whole 13 damage to you, Red. I got, I got like a, a cut across like my chest and face, kind of. You know, yeah. Like, when he was fighting Ooh. the world. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I for a drop of blood. Like, uh, like Thanos. Basically, but it was more like for a protagonist saying it rather than an antagonist. Okay, it's now Fowl's turn. What do you want to do, Fall? <clears throat> I've been waiting a long time for this moment, Beer. All right, so I, well, I'll use up all my moves if I walk, simply walk towards Beer Daily. Oh, you can make it to him. Oh, oh yeah, don't forget to rage up. Oh, wait, yeah, first yeah. off, oh. wait, wait. Okay, rage up. I've been waiting a long time for this, Beer. Wait, hold on, okay, so hold on. So one of the guards take an opportunity to attack on you as you run out. Oh, Ugh. so you want to mess with me right now? So, okay, one of the goblins take a free swing. Fails miserably, gets it stuck in the wood. Fall yeah, begins do, sprint. Do like bitch slaps. Bitch slap. He kicks no, it. No, no, no. He kicks him in the face for for like a jogging run start. <laughs> mm. And he like Don't. bolts towards Beer Deli. All right. Don't interrupt me. I've been waiting a long time for this moment, Beer. A long time for this moment. Calm the fuck down. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. All right, take take a swing. Oh yeah. Oh so, fuck. So like, uh, so his stand tries to block the attack, but the attack was too too good and like kind of like just cuts through the stand, causing. Okay, so eight plus two, 
makes 10. So first you deal 10 damage to be a deli. You could do your second attack now. Oh, Let's roll. do that again! Alright, swing again. Um, battle axe again. Yep. However, the stand catches it and like raises it upwards. It's like, <sighs> like that as the queer skeleton's like staring back at you. Yeah. Like catches it like in little samurai movie. Yeah. Dude like, catches the sword in his hands like like that. Yeah. Bitter like you insolent fool. Or some shit, I don't know. Like, like he's just mocking him. I don't know what the name of the skeleton Finally. is. Finally It's called Trapped in the Closet. Finally a word I understand. And it pisses me off. It is now Keem's turn. All right, let me, uh, I, I actually wasn't thinking of what my move was going to be. Um, hold on. All right, then, you know what? Uh, I think I'll have Keem. Um, uh, oh, yeah, okay, okay. I'm going to have Keem use his uh, crossbow against Beardelli. All right. I was going to move him, but... You're right, and, you, and yeah, you're right next to Fowl as well. Yeah. All right, right, right. Uh, how do I do this again? Sorry, it's been too long. That's fine. Crossbow. Okay, so he gets out his hand crossbow and he he fires. However, <clears throat> however, he's is oh yeah, he has advantage. Yeah. So yeah, twenty seven. So yeah, it goes right through the rib cage of the skeleton because it's full of holes, obviously. <laughs> and it and it strikes. That's why mine wears a suit. It strikes Beardelli for a nice eight damage. Ooh, nice. Bantinelli, that's one of many that you will feel as my dog felt. Oh, yeah, that whole I'm, thing with the yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming yeah. that one in the arrow hit him. He probably like, hit him like in an area that wasn't like a vital spot, like somewhere like in his like his chest or something. When I'm done with you, you're going to be trapped in the closet. In the closet? When I'm trapped in the closet, I'm going to come out at night and scare you in your sleep. <laughs> fucking arrow! Man. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. That's oh my god. The person that has no fucks to give to their enemy. All right. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Fall turns to King. King. I'm sorry. King is having flashbacks of when he almost lost Maurice. You want to give a bardic inspiration, by the way, because you can use it as your bonus action, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I. Sevson is the next turn. Him? Should I use it on quarter point? Oh, sorry, I was just or saying. should I use it on Thal? Quarter point already has advantage. Thal won't oh. be until the next round, and Sev is right up next. All right. Well, what's Sev gonna do? Oh, I have an idea because considering where the Goblin King is and where I am, I have an All idea right, on something that I want to do. I'll get Bardic Inspiration to um, Sevlanis. Sevlanis, that was one hell of a kick-ass move. Whatever you got next. Make it count! Oh, don't worry, I've got something planned for this dipshit. You and me both. Only I've got even worse planned. Just cracks my knuckles like Kenshiro from Fire's the worst death! Okay, so he gives uh, Sev a bardic inspiration, and it's now Sevlanus' turn. What do you want to do? Oh, first of all, I have been wanting to use this spell for so long, ever since I got it. First of all, I maneuver up here onto the table and go, Hey, King! I hope you're not afraid of the dark! And then, this area here, I target for one of the greatest na for one of the greatest spells of all time, which I like to refer to as... The Hentai Attack! <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so Seb... Okay, so here's what happened, right? So Seb raises the tendrils of Hundar. Hadar, yeah, you know. Basically, I cast it at this, uh, this sort of um, area here. Yeah. And then it goes to about 20 feet. So it's li literally I'm yeah. right on the edge of like this enveloping blackness. The tendrils begin to wrap around the Goblin King. But yeah, he seems totally unfazed. <clears throat> A classic Dio move. That can be heard up to 30 feet away. Dance magic oh, dance. Oh, it's gonna... Dispel. Push. Like, uh, like a little shockwave happens and all the tendrils disappear. Oh, yeah. fucking hell. Yeah. You, forgot, you forgot my stand ability, you insolent fool. Any spell you cast is dispelled. And... Okay, so like a tendril like grabs on to uh, Sev. Recast. Ooh. Uh 
Uh oh. Oh crap. It, it, it ha He's still gonna get hit by that though. It's a 20 <sighs> foot radius from the point of the origin of the spell. <sighs> mm. Oh my. Literally, he is enveloped in his own spell, in his own counter spell. Oh my God, Seb, are we, are we, be, are we being really technical about this? Like, yes. yes okay. We are. We All right. Are. Fine. Okay. So he, we recast it, but put Seb right in the center of it. If you're going down, you're going down with me. Why are there tentacles? So, don't ask. How do we calculate the damage? Uh, well, hang on. Before we create a fabric of space and time, any creature that starts its turn in the area takes 2d6 cold damage. Any creature that ends its turn in the area must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or to take 2d6 acid damage as milky, otherworldly tentacles rub against it. Easy. This is why you read the spell word. descriptions. Yeah. Is an odd word for tentacles. <laughs> So wait, hold on, quick question. Does the Spellman a center on the target, or can you choose anywhere? You can basically t target any... Uh, it says a target, a point within range of 150 feet. So if you want to center the spell on me, you can center the spell on me. Wait, who said that I was centering it on you per se? I just said the tentacle grabbed you. Yeah, because you um, reflected the spell back to him, which just means that the AoE has been moved. He's still within it. Oh, okay, if you want to be... T okay, fine. Go ahead. Uh, we are being technical. We just. I know. And it's like when I say refred, it just means he takes the spell and recasts it like a. You, you know, when you like chew a cannonball and like a ninja kind of like pushes it back, you know? Yes, it's still the same result. He recasts it. All right, fine, fine. Okay, so. It still means the AoE is going to reach him. I'm just reading this, the description still. Any creature at the end of its turn in the. Uh... Okay, of his turn. <laughs> so, so basically, the goblin will take the damage when it's his turn, correct? Is that what it is? Yep. So okay. If he, when he okay. starts his turn, he takes the 2d6 cold damage, and if he's still within... Okay, so it's the end of your turn, so you need to... Did you take the damage? Um, well, it's the end of my turn, but it says on a dexterity saving throw, my spell DC is 14. So you have to dexterize your own ability. Mm. Yep. You make it, okay. So Ooh. I avoid all the tentacles. Like you jump back or something like that. Yeah. Cool. Dramatically, because this is a JoJo moment for everyone. Rather agile. No tentacles have scared me before, however. Ah, sounds like, sounds like I know what you like to do on front. <sighs> Good grief. <laughs> I say like in the best like JoJo. Okay, version. so it's now the uh, Goblin Knight's turn. So this Goblin Knight like kind of stands up. And like, you know, attacks um, <clears throat> weird signs from behind. <clears throat> so he, he gets out his sword, his great sword, takes a nice swing. He misses, like, the first one, like, the skeleton, like, lifts up its entire upper torso. <laughs> like, bed knobs and broomsticks are saying, you know what I mean? This is, this is like... <laughs> But then the second shot, like, it, like wax it around the head, causing it to spin around, causing seven damage to Red. Ah, oh, damn. You alright there, Red? Uh, yeah, just fine. Just got a splitting headache. It is now Beardelli's turn. Well, well, well. What do you have, Pan, Beer? Pan? You mean plan? <laughs> what do you have, Pan? It's, it's, it's funny. Oh, it's funny. Right. I know. It's funny. Character. It's funny. It's really funny. Actually, so it kind of works well. That works well, actually. Mm. Yeah, that fits with his character. Yeah. Oh, please, just. Okay. I just realized. Ro roll strength, foe. Just roll regular strength. Okay. I hope I don't fuck up this roll. Um. Don't fall. Uh, oh. Okay, so like weird science like tries to take a grab of like fall, but like misses. Uh, wait, weird science, don't you? Well, so weird science. I mean, um, trapped in a closet. Yeah, trapped in a closet. Yeah. <laughs> well, my friend's not doing anything. <laughs> okay. Also, like Beardelli like notices. Oh crap! Like that. Like he 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 says, keep him busy. I'll make a. I'll find a safer place. Like that. So he, he kind of goes out. He Coward. realizes that if he hits a stand, it'll hit him, right? Yeah, he knows. He just wants to keep a good distance so he can, like, recall it. 
So <laughs> he, he like steps out the door and then like to his surprise Mitchell Jefferson is like standing right at the edge of the oh. ship. Shit! <laughs> oh my lord! My what is my I know that weird fan thing gonna be? Am I gonna start like finding fucking Pokemon? Am I gonna be like Ash Ketchum? Because that makes sense. In my real name. I fucking name. know that stand too. It's awesome. Yeah. So like Mitchell Jefferson like kind of walks up with his stand. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh damn. I've come to finish you off, be a deli. What? What's the meaning of this? <laughs> oh shit! He has a stand after all. <laughs> Behold my stand. Man in the mirror, who oh, like that? Yeah, I have trapped you in this mirror dimension. Is D and D or a bloody anime? So basically, oh. it's like Mitchell Jefferson like explains how he's basically trapped everyone in this mirror dimension as a part of attempt to entrap Beardelli. Hmm. Clever. So I'm now going to add Mitchell Jefferson to the turn order list. Yeah. Nice. Keem shouts to Mit wait wait uh, has Keem noticed uh, what's happening outside? Uh, he he could recognize the he he noise. Oh okay oh. okay hold on. <laughs> Mitchell Jefferson, <laughs> don't kill him. I no, want kill his him. last breath. <laughs> I have. I like how none here was no nonchalant about that. Just just kill him. <laughs> <laughs> just kill him. <laughs> so like beer, so no, beer. No. This one is mine. So Beer Daily like approaches um, I, I Mitchell Jefferson. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let that girl finish. Okay, right. Okay. So, so basically they're both like strutting towards each other. And then like the stand like reappears like behind. And it, he like... <clears throat> okay, Fo, you can't, for cutscene purposes, get into the front of the deck if you like. Okay. What? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? You had a stand? Why, yes. Yes, of course. Ha. Huh. Go figure. So, like... Anyway. Okay. Anyway, Barry. Oh, sorry. Go, ahead. go, go on. Go on. Anyway, Barry. Oh, go. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like... No, it's fine. It's fine. Sometimes I have to get my mouth ready. Record player over here. It's a fucking record player. I know, right? So, so, so like, Beer Deli kind of begins to, like, laugh and all that. <laughs> you think this uh, mirror dimension will save you? Let me tell you that you're wrong. For you see, I have my own ace up my sleeve. I'm trying to open this damn thing. You ever had that when you're like, trying to click a button and it doesn't quite do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've been there a few times. While I was away... Why I was away with the Goblin King, I got myself a souvenir. It's from a distant land, a land of the dead. This is what I call. Did you do any undead people while you were there? All of a sudden, a giant closet like slams down behind him, but it look, but it doesn't look like a normal closet. It looks like it's cursed or something. Very like spooky and everything, and, like ominous yeah, noises. We have friends on the other side. Not quite. Um, <laughs> nah. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, you got. <laughs> so basically. Beanie. Wait, wait, let's take girls' police finish, please. Go ahead. All right, second. Behold my secret weapon, the Lich's closet. With it, I have the power to summon the forces of the undead to do my bidding. So you did do it to undead chicks. Silence! I will not be insulted anymore. D Beer, you don't have to lie, man. I, I mean, I, I mean, undead people can be really kinky. You don't have to hide that. <laughs> he calls across like the hands of despair, and like out. Okay, so with hands of despair, it means it could trap one person in. I'm gonna roll a d20. If it's below ten, it is foul. If it's above, it's Mitchell Jefferson. Not the dramatic uh -oh. JoJo music. Uh -oh. Okay, so it's foul. I know where this is from. So like, the hands grab onto foul. Roll strength check to see if you can fight against it. Uh... So all these hands of the dead start crawling around. Like he tries, but it's it's really too strong. There's too many hands, oh, and it's like start it. dragging in, dragging him in. Damn it. 
Oh god, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like that Friday night incident a few years ago. <laughs> like that. So the closet shuts. You need to make a strength save of Okay, judging from this. Yeah, if you can make it past 20, I'll let you out. So every time it's oh, No, every time it's your turn, I mean. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, Beer Daily and Mitchell Jefferson are like locked in a duel, but we'll focus on the fight at hand. So, Mitchell Jefferson and Beer Daily will be out of the fight for the moment, okay? Mm. Okay. Meanwhile. So, like, you just hear loads of fighting and stands, like, just, like, shoving each other. Sounds, sounds like a stand battle, I say, looking at Keem. The Goblin King's turn. Yeah, okay. He immediately takes 2d6 cold damage for standing in that spell. Yes, he does. Yeah. Okay, so the Goblin King takes 2d6. Let me roll that. 2d6 cold damage. It, it, it turns out to be a critical. <laughs> no, that'll be funny. Uh, 2d6. Yeah, but this isn't actually a base. Oh, we got a crit! Yeah, it, it's nine. Yeah, but it's not like you're doing an attack against him. It is just that he is taking the damage for standing in the AoE. Um, he also cast the AoE over me and half pints, so now I'm worried. Okay, so the Goblin says, oh, I had enough of this. Come along, like that. So his stand like just kind of fades back into the darkness and all that. He he like like walks off to the like end of the deck, and then he notices something really peculiar. Like he hears first off, he hears like barking. <gasps> okay, so I'm now revealing more. Yeah, this is very cutscene heavy. Okay, so the, so the dog is like barking outwards. As he like he like looks across and and like the Gomb King can see what he's barking at as well. What the? Oh, he brought friends. He brought backup. Hold on, can I move this? I want to see if I can like. Oh my god! Hey, quick question: when I, when I hold shift and click, does it drag your screen across? No. Um. It kind of did for me, like, a little bit, which I... Oh, no, I found it. This is the button. Sorry, Jack. Jake. Jake. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, like, the Goblin King, like, steps down. Well, it seems that you brought yourself a little army. Who's a good boy? He, like, starts stroking the dog. You're gonna help me take on the world, little fella? Oof, oof! <laughs> the dog has no idea what's going on back in the ship. Excellent. Oh, shit. No. no. Oh, no. Don't kidnap the He's dog. Gonna get please. Maurice killed. Now, where to begin? Oh, yes. Like, he brings out his crystal balls. I could probably remove three of you right now. Just the dog sees us and ends up napping his arm off. Okay, so, like, three of the, three of the people out in the field. So, like, Jake's like, I'm not gonna let you get away with this. I have brought my entire legion of the cultists to destroy you. The four rippers will have your head. And then put it on a pike. So first, it is a I wisdom save. Like what one, one, one of them might say. We'll put it on a pike. So Jake, like, you know, tosses one of the, like, crystals out the way. <laughs> oh, is that how it is? He, ta he takes the other two crystals and, like, throws it at Jake desperately. <laughs> Take another! Like, you can only do, like, two more times. This time it catches him and he, he gets sucked in the ball. I wonder if I could send... Excellent. Excellent. Now. Like, he gets one last ball and he shoots it at another just to finish up. Phew. He tries to defend himself, but he can't, so this guy goes. Now, bring it on. I'm adding more Eve now to the turn order list. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, at least he's Don't worry, Keem, I have an idea. Mm. It is now... Okay, Quarter Pint now needs to do a death save. But and he, he has advantage because... Yeah, <sighs> Nani is trying to resuscitate like, like, him. Like, he's just gasping. I'm trying to resuscitate him, but I'm being also whipped 
the fuck out by tentacles. Well, I was about to say, what actually happened to the spell, considering that he's now... Is he no longer... Because it's a concentration spell. Is mm. he now no longer focusing on the spell? He's no longer focusing on the spell. He's oh, preoccupied with the okay, cultist. So the gone. spell's ended. Yep. Okay. That was strange. I don't like that. I'm helping you. Come on, you can do it. Okay, I'm going to play some good old-fashioned... Dramatic music. More dramatic music, yeah. Okay, so quarter point, let's roll a 20. Let's see if he can do it. I believe in you. And... Yeah, he might. Okay, so he wins one. He needs to win two more to resuscitate. You can do it. Keep breathing. Nani's turn. Do like CPR on him. I like it. Here, here's the dog. Oof, oof. Did I hear the dog? Uh. She she gets Mincer out. Can I get Mincer out? Yeah. Mincer, go, go tell that dog. I uh, know you might. Dogs be and do though. dogs and wait. Can can he speak an animal? But I yeah, did I tell, think. but I did tell um, Maurice um, not to eat the rat. So at least yeah. the rat could gra grab his attention somehow. All right. Go, buddy. Go. Hang on, we need a little. No, he's, 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 he's actually quite smart. Like he's more human than he is. Um, he will. He he will make it to the dog on the next round, due to oh, movement okay. limitations. Darn right. movement limitations. So you're gonna stay with Quarpine to make sure he gets advantage on the next one. Yeah. Okay. Red's turn. Okay, I'm gonna attack the the guy the goblin or goblin guard I was still attacking by the barrels. All right, very well. Roll the uh, punches here. It's a weird sign. Strikes again. Uh, let me check. I think. Oh god, yeah, he doesn't hit him. The knight, the knight dodges the punches. Ugh. Bruce barrels. Ugh. Lade, he just gets, he just leaps out of the way. Hey, you! It's now the goblin knight's turn. So he gets out a great sword and he swings. He misses the first strike, gets him on the second. Does five damage to Red. <sighs> Red's looking a little bit worse for wear there. It's like this one that goes across like my chest, kind of, but not like where it's like a deep gash wound from like a slash. Roll a strength save in to see if you could break out the closet. Out of the closet. Fell. Oh, okay. Ah, come on. Come on. Please. Let me. Oh. Um, yeah, he makes it. The first one. Yep, yeah, he makes. What, what? Oh, no. Strength. Oh, you already. I, I, I pressed the. I accidentally pressed ammo. Okay, nah, you didn't make it out. Oh, ah. that. Oh. oh wait, wait, hold on. Are you raged? Yeah, yeah he's raged. Okay, yeah, he he, crit he critically like breaks out and like grabs. Oh, like 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 like, like a Luffy in One Piece in the first. Yeah, episode, like, he, he like breaks out and grabs traps in the closet right round the you neck. Know, you know what I'm imagining right now? <laughs> hold on, hold on. You know what I'm imagining right now? Suddenly, no. Thal's fist punches through, and as the dust clears, all you see is the bird. <laughs> it's not just a he didn't punch it open with just a clenched fist. He punched it open with the bird. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, like that just punches through. <laughs> well, oh. well, well. Looks like I got me a prize. You can see that both of them are injured and like he's holding um traps and closet around the neck and like bit feeling feeling it. Holy uh, shit. Uh, curses like that. But then Bidelli Bidelli starts laughing. He um Trapped in the closet, then like slaps its like foot down and like opens up a big hole. Roll dexterity to get out of the way. Okay, so basically, um trapped in the closet as a reaction, he, he he hits the he hits the floor for like a grad escape and opens up like a like a closet trap door on the floor as a little like getaway and like he, he like pulls through, but then like Basically, foal is like literally dangling off the um, off the edge of the thing. It looks like it's some sort of like sky closet or something. I'm closet in the sky. Yeah, so Thal's still holding on to. Yeah, Mitchell Jefferson quickly rushes over. Come on, yeah. Man in the mirror, quickly. <laughs> oh, oh God, fuck! That fucker got away again. It's all right, foal. It's. But like before they can, before they can, um, you know, say anything. 
that you hear like laughter, like up in the sky. Where did he go, Fall? Where did he go? I don't, I don't know. He just went. Th he just went through that hidden closet door. What the fuck is he? Like you just hear the like the laughter getting louder. He didn't leave. He's he's somewhere here. Is he close? Is he far? I I don't know. He just I just hear laughing. Roll perception. I wonder I wonder if we can hear the laughing. I don't hear anything at all. Okay, Mitchell Jefferson looks looks around as well. Oh, lucky him. He has a, he has a wisdom of like like zero bonuses or negatives, so that was just a straight up nineteen. So Mitchell Jefferson looks up, like he know, like look first he looks down and notices there's like a shadow slowly forming, and then he looks up, and like he could see it, like all of a sudden like the clouds begin to like spiral round as if something's breaking the atmosphere. Oh no, Foul, you need to get out of here. What? Like, you, like, Mid, like, basically, Mitchell Jefferson is literally pissing himself. Like, he's running down his leg and he's making a puddle underneath him. Foul. Oh, God. You need to get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? Are you going to be okay? Probably not. What do you mean, probably not? Like, he hears, he hears like, a voice, like, laughter calling out. And behold, cousin, I present to you my final ability. The fuck? Out, like, Fowl looks up and he can see what can only be described as the biggest closet he has ever seen falling from the heavens. What? Wardrobe oh, Slam shit. Act 2. Oh, sh Oh, no. Get out of the way, Fowl. It's coming down. What the? God, Fowl, save him! Fuck! I'm not leaving you behind! You got a general persuasion to tell him to get Roll out. Roll persuasion. Oh, please save him. No use. Mitchell Jefferson's determined to face his demons down. This is the final showdown. I have to I have to beat him. It's the only way I'm no Big Roger. What about change? What about becoming the new Goblin King? What if about I, changing If I run away if I run away from this then I'm not worthy to be the Goblin King. You'll be dead! He's pretty injured, you could finish him off. May maybe you should be the Goblin King. I'm gonna roll two different rolls for him. You'll understand why sooner, right? Mm. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, sweaty palms. Okay, so first it's... First it's the strength no! save. There's a spy! Thanks for the follow, mate. Oh wait, no, hold on. I need to use his stand. So like the closet come, so the closet comes down and like on top of it is Beer Deli with his um, stand. Oh, timed it just right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was kind of inappropriate music at that point. Yeah. So like, well, but I mean, it's probably for Mitchell Jefferson though. So they 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 both start like um, punching as like the wardrobe's like slamming in. Go to ooh, do, 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 like that. You know what I mean? It's like that. Um. Yeah. So <clears throat> that world roller scene. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that, so like the the wardrobe slowly like descending down as he's trying to punch, but the wood is too strong. Fuck. Uh, dramatically. So it's like slamming and like they they're all punching and everything. Mitchell Jefferson now has to roll a strength save. No, his stand has to roll strength save. Where's man in the mirror? There it is. Okay, so it starts to roll. But it just makes it... So, like, it's punching through it, right? So, like, he's, like, punching. It's, like, like that, you know what I mean? It's, like, going through all the wood. And at first, it, like... And, like, you just you just hear the slam as it, like, slams down on Mitchell Jefferson. Shaboom! And, and like, Beer Deli starts laughing at top. <laughs> yes. I have finally defeated you, Mitchell. After all those long years of planning and deception. Now I can be the Godfather. And like, he's about to like step off. But then, he like, he hears like some music slowly begin to play. Huh? What is that? What's that music? 
Like, he quickly, like, goes to the front of... He, he like, quickly opens up his closet and there's, like, a whole orchestra. He says, what are you doing? Stop playing the music! Why are you playing it? Like that. <laughs> oh, uh, SpongeBob joke. I, 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 that's... Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on. I forgot. Yeah, there's the closet, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to bring it out well, it, because it's all transparent, so I'm like... Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, all of a sudden, like, Mitchell Jefferson, like, um, <clears throat> Mitchell Jefferson's, like, behind him, and he, like, grabs, like, Beer Deli, and, like, <clears throat> and, like, Man in the Mirror, like, raises the closet and tosses it into the ocean. Whoosh, pss, but, but there, in, like, the piss, something's a bit unusual, like, it's kind of glowing. Huh? What is Why this? Is <laughs> Why is it this growing? <laughs> you for there was a reason for the piss after all. When did the sniper get here? <laughs> Why, this was my plan all along. As the wardrobe flattened by piss, it made a large enough radius to fit a person in. I'm trapping you in the third mirror dimension. But not only that, due to the direction of the reflection, it is aiming towards the sky. No, you don't mean what I think it is. It, like, Mitchell Jefferson lets go of, like, Beer Deli and he, like, falls through into the sky for the third reflection. Mirror piss. So, it's, like, for the reflection of the piss, he falls through. A little, like, thin layer of, like, piss has covered him and he, like, falls. No! Like that, and he's, like, he's, like, falling into the sky. Piss, 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 piss. <laughs> <laughs> this is what hell of a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> like I that. Got to kick the goblin king in the ball. Yeah, you see how to do that. So Mitchell Jefferson like kind of, totally. kind of I falls back. Helping the guy I nearly killed. No, that's not it. That's not it. Damn it, damn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the fist. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> so like Mitchell Jefferson's like down on on his like feet and everything, and he's like, oh, fall. You're right. Damn it! Uh, are you alright? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Like, like he's a little injured, but like, foul. I'm hurt. Can you please help me up? Yeah, sure, man. Ah. So I grabbed him. You was right about Beardelli. Yeah, he's a prick. <sighs> you met, but. Oh, you s so he's trapped in that dimension forever. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, he should fall into the stratosphere any moment now. All right, so can we can you undo this so that way we can go after the Goblin King? Oh, yes, right. Like he just snaps his fingers, and then everyone gets transported back into like the prop dimension. They kind of like materialize in the non-mirror dimension. Uh, let's 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 move so, over there. Okay, so in that case, I will be over. <sighs> You would oh, be. Shit, I'm, I'm still in free hand. I just pissed a line. <laughs> yeah, you'd be no, there. Yeah. Dang, you got some good aim. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Red, I think you'd actually be here. This guy oh, here. I'm on the right side. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> don't, don't, Red. The joke has come full circle, bitches. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you've got the two guards at the top there, the wrong way around, Sacrius. That guy. Oh be, yeah. The wounded guy should be next to the barrels, and the other guy should yeah. be on the other side. All right. Uh, where, where should I be standing then? Like right there, still, or? Yeah, sure. Just yeah. don't don't eat the pie. Don't eat it. <laughs> you know, if you tell somebody not to do something, there's a very probable. Experience. Yeah, no. yeah, I know. I'm hoping. Like, like Red's like looking I mean, at even the Rick thing. knows Rick. this. Yeah. Rick. I say to myself. Mm -hmm. Oh shit! There's a Goblin King. Uh, oh bloody hell! It's you guys. Yeah. It's us. Mitchell, you're too injured to fight. Let me handle this. Are you sure? The Goblin King is pretty dangerous. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, I still I can only imagine they just see a mouse there. skitter across the deck at this very moment. <laughs> Wait. The armored one. He has high health then, mm -hmm. Then Thal, is it really worth taking him out? Is it really worth all fighting him on his own? Who knows? You have to find out. Mm. Well, he doesn't use magic to fight. That's true. True. Yeah. So you have an advantage there, but he uses a stand, and the stand's quite powerful. Yeah, that is Against true. Against magic. 
Yeah, well, yeah, magic. But, and, and then Thole's in a magic user, so I think he might be able to stand a chance against him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, then I don't know should what we good. could... Alright, yeah, let's be. do it. Yeah, yeah because, you know, <laughs> look at the dice. Yeah, <laughs> but here's the thing. He's just... <laughs> here's the thing. I'm even more dangerous. Okay. Alright, so I just... So I guess... guess I do like a cinematic walk. Can I do the cinematic walk in my turn? Or how far can I walk <laughs> during this? Oh, um... You, you can't walk at all until your next turn. Alright. It is now Keen's turn. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. What do I have to... Uh... Yeah, don't forget, you've just fallen back into the uh, normal dimension now, the mirror one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hi, uh, I just wanted to see what I got. <laughs> Hi, Keen. <laughs> you okay? Oh. Hey, uh, uh, okay, yeah, just uh, hold on a second. He uh, swaps his... Um, yeah. Weapons around as they have now been reversed again. Yeah. <sighs> oh shit! Quarter I'm, pint. I'm just, Wait, was it quarter pint or half pint? I keep quarter forgetting. pint. Oh, half pint's his dad. <laughs> yeah. Pint. Um, I'm helping. I'm pretty much just all bloodied like Jotaro did in that fight when he fought Kira in part four, but just like the slash is not holes in him. Uh, hang on. What do I have? Do I have any? Can someone oh, heal yeah. the poor guy? I have a potion of healing. That, I won't just work on my that won't work on unconscious people. Mm. Damn it! What is it that you said that you wanted to bring for situations like this? This was people who were still standing upright, not people who were currently lying on the floor. Okay, guys, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set it to descending, but we're gonna follow it from Keem. So let me just get through the Keem. Okay, right. continue, continue. Alright, um... I don't know... I don't know what to do. <laughs> Where did I go? I haven't had my turn yet, and I've disappeared. You could go after the Goblin King. None here seems to have it covered. Hmm. Oh, okay. Unless you want to swap roles. Can I toss a potion of healing over to Red and then uh, make my way out? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Roll a dex. Yes, I'm, it's my dude. I'm currently. Or you could walk over and just <laughs> roll dex. Unless, unless his stand could uh, port over and grab it. Okay, roll roll your decks, and I'll roll the stands decks, and I'll see. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Shit, shit. I'm probably gonna waste a potion. I'm gonna break it. You do uh, have you do have healing touch. Yeah, but he had to. I know, to, like, but I still have to make my way over to him, and I want to make my way over to save more reef. Hmm. Don't save worry, I've got more reef. Yeah. Wait, you do. I say because no, I, I, she sent a mouse as a gambit to try and convince the dog not to be helping the Goblin King. Red was kind of unfamiliar because he had he hadn't really seen her. Okay, yeah, you throw it just fine. So uh, heal yourself up. How much does a potion give? Um, yeah, uh, how much does a potion give? Four plus some. Two D four. That's, that's twelve. And... Potion that... of healing potion of healing it is 2d4 plus two okay there's a whole 10 so Eight. take so take the yeah so that's a 10 so you just give yourself you give yourself 10 red oh so take it's this like, red i gotta go get uh, more e. okay it's 22 okay thank you yep all right like like some of my wounds kind of heal up but i still have that wicked scar on my face now it kind of looks like the sniper is like in TF2, kind of like the way it's like the slash on it. Mm -hmm. Got a wicked scar now. Awesome. Anyway. <laughs> okay, it is now... Oh, so what do you want to do, Keem? I wanted to move. Um, what's the maximum move distance again? Well, if you take the ruler, you can move about... Yeah. About here. That's your max. So Keem runs over. Then I'd move... Uh, here at the mo moment, so I'm next to Thal and have pack tactics. Oh, I very well. Oh, hey, game. Uh, game about hey! to. Oh, look. It looks like your dog is about to help. Oh, shit. It looks like he's about to help the Goblin King. What? No! Maurice! Maurice, no! Get away from him! What's the matter? Hold on. So the Goblin King like looks over to the dog. Oh. 
And he rolls a nice... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so the Goblin King deliberately speaks louder than Keem. Come here, boy. Come here. And because it's a crit, I might as well do this. He takes like another crystal ball, holds onto the dog and teleports out. But, le but the ball is still like in the physical plane. Wait, what happened? He teleported out. He teleported out with the dog. He Keem, you're uh going to be assisted by a small mouse. <laughs> Maurice! What the f- where the fuck did he go? One of the, like, cultists come over. I mean, it's not usually company policy to speak to outsiders, but, um, I think he went in that crystal ball over there. <laughs> is there any way we can get him? Thal, it's oh. not your turn. Stop moving. Oh, wait. Sorry. My bad. Okay, so, like, the cultists, since the Goblin King's out of the way, they're, they're, they have no interest with everyone else, so they're just kind of awkwardly standing around the um, crystal ball, totally dumbfounded. They can't exactly break it because they're worried about their boss. <sighs> like that. So they're, they're all, like, just talking to each other, absolutely dumbfounded. So they're out of the equation. You still have the guards left to deal with. Um... Apparently, it skipped the order list. Also, skipped my turn for some reason. So wait, did it? Let me check. Are you, are you still there? Oh yeah, there yeah, you I'm are. I'm still there, but I was supposed to have gone after Keem, but for some strange reason, it's put one of the four Rippers there. And okay, was... all right, Seb, I'll put you just. I was also so move him after like... me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Oh wait, uh, Sekiros, do I still have my dancing sword? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I'm um, like when my turn comes up, I'm gonna try to use it so I can have some extra attack things. Just All right, sure thing. Okay, Keen. So it is. Um, do you want to do anything in your turn? I mean, I don't think the cultists are actually interested in you. I like their helmets, though. They have nice helmets. Yeah. It's like some Final Fantasy shit. Any thoughts, Keen? What? Do you have any? Yeah. Do you have any ideas? Like, what do you want to do? Yeah. Haven't I used up my turn? I tossed that potion over to Red, and I just used my that... to move out here. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, well, you, you could. Yeah. I tell you what. Deal with the Goblin Guards first, and then, then like, I'll turn it back into cutscene mode, so you can start to move about. Okay. So, Sivlanus, okay. it's your turn. Okay. Well, I'm still sitting. I'm just sort of sitting there, going, um, okay. <laughs> Not sure what's going going on, but then I sort of hear the guards behind me. I just like, ooh, new targets. <laughs> so I turn around, and um, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cast burn, uh, Scorching Ray, but I'm going to use my last level three slot so that I can cast four, and then I'm targeting two. At, uh, hang on, my thing's not. <laughs> so, I so I cast two at this guy and two at that guy. All right. So here comes the first two scorching rays on the wounded guy on the left. You get the first one, but not the second one. Okay, so the first one does seven fire. All right. So is this one here, right? Yeah. All right. All right. And then the two scorching rays on the guy on the right. Hits. Doesn't hit. And that one does six. Very well. You want to do anything else or what? No, I'm just going to stand my ground for now. All right. Now Goblin Knight's turn. They're really going hammer on this stad. Oh, I'll show you stand. Like, hey, like gets out his um, gets out his sword, and he goes in for another few swings. So he manages to hit one of the attacks. Oh. Minus 13. Ouch. Red is in really bad shape. Ugh, damn. Quarter pint, another death save. Good time Just to like blood fall all back over and the floor back your in dramatic fashion. Uh, okay, he has advantage, so let's see what the second one is. Okay, so he failed that one, so he's, it's one win, one loss. Okay, now I totally look, now I totally look like uh, Jotaro from Part Four when he fought Kira, but instead of like him being full of holes, he got a bunch of slash marks in him, and he's all bloody. Okay, is your turn, Red? 
What do you want to do? Well, uh, I'm going to try to attack one of them, but I have a feeling I might get knocked out or something. I don't know, but I'm going to try because I don't want to go down without a fight. Because it's, it's in my it goes against my anime protagonist nature. So I'm going to attack the goblin guy uh, right there by the barrels. Again, because I think he was the one that's attacking me. All right, very well. So roll oh, the punches. Yeah, and then can I also summon my uh, dancing sword? Yeah, sure. Um, okay, I'll like I'm gonna like I open up my <coughs> plate dramatically. Sure thing. So and get I, uh, so do the punches first. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Okay. Uh, punches. Oh. oh. That would have been nice. That would have been nice, but that was a critical on the other side. Okay, so know. that's just 14 still damage. Well, I, I said I attacked the one that's by the barrels. I mean, that's yep. still enough to take him out. That's still enough to take him out. Mm. I know. Damn. Okay, you can throw your sword and do it like a sword roll. Okay. Um. So I open up my coat dramatically, and yeah. I throw my sword up in the air, but then to come make it come out of a shield, I whistle. Because I still want to do that Yandu arrow yep. choke thing. Yandu sword throw, got it. Yeah, so hold on, let me grab my sword, uh, dancing sword, roll that. It just makes it past the AC. Comes out of like the, what like, the sheath all dramatic, like there's like there's a close-up Dang angle of it. Oh my! Wait, Wait, strength plus. What? Well, let me check. Let me check. Did I give you? Did I give you proficiency? Like. Uh, you might have, because granted, I haven't used it, but I think I, I've leveled up, so. No, like you would need to have. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. That did we have a problem with this last time? I think we did. Uh, let me see. So the dancing sword was strength. Okay, so plus something. Plus your prof Did you get proficiency? I thought I specifically... Oh, no. Strength. Oh, yeah. Proficiency doesn't go into that. It's 1d6. I don't know why. It, it seemed to have deactivated the actual dice roll. Okay, roll it again. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't even rolling a number. That's why. Okay, so three. How, how did you manage not to roll a number? What did you roll decimals instead? Okay. Decimals, so you ended up with. Yeah, so he's still alive. This uh, grunt. Okay, now near it's your turn. Um. God. <laughs> this is a hard decision because I can. Isn't Mincer in that area, general area here now? Oh yeah, we, we we should have a token for him. Shouldn't there be a token? Yeah, I didn't get around to making one. Okay, we'll do uh, that for you, the next yeah. Let me get a mouse. I think there's a mouse yeah, option. You, you, use, use that as a stand-in Let's get a for picture now. of a mouse for now, and I'll draw a Mincer's token for next time. Okay, wrap. Okay. He's a mouse. He's a mouse. Well, yeah, I'm going to use the rat because it, it looks oh, close, yeah. you know. It's a little rat. If it, if it's, it's, that is a rat there. So he's about here. He's completely dumbfounded. There's no dog there. Squeak. A confused squeaking. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> so where did squeak. Maurice go? He disappeared into one of the crystal balls, didn't he? Yeah. Along with the, the, the Goblin balls. Kings. Okay. So I'm going to... Uh... Also, uh, can I just, uh, uh, I'm just gonna, like, uh, where's my spells? Jeez. Um, I'm going to attempt to cast sleep on the guard with a lot of health. With the one health? Oh, with the lot of health? No, with a lot of health, yes. Do you have enough, uh, okay, what level of that spell are you gonna roll it as? Probably, I have... Oh jeez. Um. Hold on. If I if I'm correctly, is the thing when you go into the spells, you have an option to pick which version of the spell. As a wizard. What level? Because it it from. Let me try and see if, the, if I can explain this because I think I've got a better handling on this. Um, every spell has a set level, but you have the option of being able to cast it one level higher. And it usually says in the description if you cast the spell at a higher level. It does this for every extra level that you cast it as. Like what I did with Scorching Ray, it says for every extra level, I gain an additional ray. It says here, though, 
Wait, does, is it a targeted creature or is it um, anyone within the 20 foot point? Oh, 20 feet of a point. Okay, no, that's fine. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. You could do different. I could, different probably, I could probably make it so that he's that guy is specifically affected. Yeah, like, you can do that. I, do? I think. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Does it even let you do like oh, yeah, higher levels? Add an extra two d eight. So. I have no clue. <laughs> I can cast a level it at level three though. Yeah, that's fine. So if you click it and press the level three version, I'll increase the likelihood of you succeeding. Yeah, the thing is, though, why the hell do I have a level 9 version of it? Well, don't click level 9, just click level 3, because that's yeah. as far as your thing goes at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So try... So I'll do that. Would you cast sleep on? Huh. Uh, Higher level car. Wow. <laughs> I misheard when you said cats. I thought you were going to say high level cuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's weird. It's like... High level, so that's four, but that's five. What? Hold on, what's, go make sure. what's going on here? Do you add them together? I have... Let me take a look at that. Okay, so I'm going to practice just to see. Okay, so hypothetically it would be... Okay, let me pull up the sleep. Uh, roll 5d8. This is the total of how many hit points of creatures this spell can affect. Creatures oh, I know what's going feet of the point of you choose within range are affected in ascending order with their current HP. I know what's going on. Starting with a creature that has the lowest current hit points, each creature affected by the spell falls unconscious until the spell... How many hit points of creatures? Oh, okay. Each extra level is 2d8, so what happened was it put the other two, because it was two levels above, it added a 2d8 and another 2d8 for the higher level section, but then the base section is the original five, so that's like nine in total. So basically, on your roll, you ended up causing 24, but I think your best luck would be to hit the one that is on one health, just to get him out of the picture. Yeah. But the issue is, we still have that one who's at yeah, we do, six, yeah, we so do. We but you've already cast, you already casted it. Twenty-four on yeah. the one I was aiming for this. Yeah, one. but it doesn't remove his help. It's it's only a calculation of body mass. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's how it works. It's not actual damage. Mm. It's like okay, mm. yeah. Then I'll cast it on mm. this boy here. Okay, so he's asleep now. You you cast it just the right amount of distance. You like kind of combed yeah, it at the edge. So basically, long. it's. Basically saying how strong the spell is and how well it can affect somebody at yes. a strength level. And half the time it's only for like weak creatures. Ah. It's great if you're dealing with loads of mice. Okay. So, so what do you want to do now? You want to like move or do you want to like stay next to Quarpine to give him the advantage? I... Uh. I'll stay near the quarter pint though I'm starting to doubt his survival. <laughs> Okay, Goblin... Okay, so he's asleep, so he's out of the question. These two aren't part of the fight anymore. Foul, it is your turn. What do you want to do? Fuck. Oh, fuck, where is... Where is that fucker? You know it's the shiny ball on the ground. Isn't this one of, one of the Goblin King's balls? <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, get a little closer to the mic, Foul. I think you're a little quiet. What? <clears throat> Isn't this one of... What is it? Isn't this one of Goblin King's balls? Yes, he used it on our leader. It was relentless. Uh, and Maurice in there with him. That's some real shonky business. I want. Let's well, see. I'm trying to remember if there's some some way of getting in the crystal ball somehow. Uh, okay. Roll an Arcana check. <laughs> I'll count it, check. Okay, let's see how well he does. <laughs> as soon as he um, as he picks it up, it glows and he disappears as well. Uh oh! <laughs> Go! Bing, bing. It just, like drops down, makes it look like a dramatic, like bing noise. Bing. It is now Keem's turn. Keem instinctively chases after. Okay, so so Keem runs in and he too gets sucked in by touching the ball. Oh, crap! 
Okay, so the rest of you don't know what's going on outside, so we'll just... Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Seb, it is now your turn. Be like dramatic as possible, because he doesn't know where Akeem or You want to do like an Eldritch Blast on like the surviving... I, like... was just, I was just sitting here thinking about... Actually, come to think of it, I haven't used my Skull Blast yet, so I'm going to use Skull Blast on the one guy that's actually still awake at the moment, so... There he is. 12, okay. That's good, so he does 12 damage. So a big flaming skull comes in and, and like, smacks him around the head. Like a, like a heavy metal song. And now I'm just like, hey, Fiddlesticks, pulls out his scythe. Let's do a little trick. So considering that I know that this, this scythe always comes back to me, or I'm assuming it does, I chuck the scythe at, at, the, at the guard. I'll allow it. Go, throw it. Okay, uh, so just... Um, just roll it normally, right? Uh, oh, first roll, like first roll with Dex to see if your thing's actually gonna go into the air. Okay, that's a good, yeah. So that that'll count. Now roll the actual damage to see if it gets through his armor. Doesn't, and it teleports back into your hand. Ah shit! Looks like you're eating flies again today. I'm afraid, Fiddlesticks. No, <laughs> <laughs> he, he he doesn't care. He's like completely. Okay, you finish your turn? Um, well, yeah, considering that was effectively my action, so... Oh, fair enough. I mean, you could have repositioned, but I think that's not really a position to take anyway. Okay, so this Goblin Knight, like, like aims for um, weird science. Goes in for a strike. Oh, I, I wonder if I can... Hold on, let's see if I can do something. Well, it's not my reaction, but I'm just saying... Um, oh, whoops. I can, like, uh, change my... I clicked the wrong button. Or, uh, perfect. Okay, misses the first strike. Oh, gets him Ooh. in the second. Oh, but it was a crit, but there's a six. Yeah, you're you're unconscious. Uh, uh. So it strikes in weird signs, like crumbles, go like that. Ugh. Finally, I got one. Hi, guess what? I'm gonna cast fire on you, bitch. Core pine. Oh, now it's his save. Okay, next one. Come on. Okay, all right, so that was a win. So he has two wins now. Damn. Oh, yeah, because he's a, he's a knight, so that makes me assume that he's a fighter. So he has the whole double attack thing. Right, you've got to do a, a death saving throw now, Red. Yeah, roll a d20. Uh, all right, d20. Uh, just one d20. I almost accidentally rolled two. Uh-oh. Oh no. It's a failure. <sighs> it's like that dramatic moment where like it like it's like the I can't remember like what it was, like that scene in like part four where like Okiasu's in that afterlife kind of thing. Okay, now near. You can use an action yeah. you can use an action to do the uh, attack. I mean you use a bonus action to support one of the two, but you have to decide. I'm going to I can use an action to support. A bonus action. A bonus action to support, and you use an action to attack. I'm going to support Red. Alright, so you're going to attack this grunt first? Oh, yes. Oh, now, my. here's the thing I'm going to do. Alright. Um. Remember, you've already used Dragon Laser. I know, but I have other things of fire I can use. <laughs> Just reminding you because you forgot last time. Oh, don't worry. No, I, oh no, that was an earlier session. I forgot. Yeah. No, I didn't well, you guys can't see I, it, but I've uh, changed my profile picture to look more accurate. Like how that was an earlier right session now. before uh, this mm. one. I was talking about. So which spell is it? Um. Uh. Fireball. All right. Let me see. Twenty. And I'm going to try and cast it, um, just so he's in that 20 foot radius. No, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I can accept that. All right. So, fireball. I've clicked it for you. Oh, yeah, it's a level three spell anyway. Okay, so that's a whole. Wait, there's a dexterity element, isn't there? Yeah, he's got. Um, I think it's like if he if he succeeds, he takes half the damage. Yeah, fair enough. All right, let's give him a quick dex jump. Oh god. Uh, yours is twelve, isn't it? Yeah. 
Okay, so he takes half, so that's, um... Hmm. I might round it down for you. Uh... 13, I think. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, 13. Yeah, yeah. So I was just double checking, it's like the numbers get a bit confusing. Okay, here we go. So you've done 13 damage to him with the effects of a fireball. He begins to like lean down on the... He kind of like, like crouches down to like avoid the circumference of the ball. It is now the Goblin Knight's turn. Oh wait, it's the sleepy one. Forget That's him. The sleeping one. Yeah, so he just snores. And it's Sivlance's turn. I think he's past Ellie Johnny Sazaki. Okay, I'm oh, just going to reposition myself over here. Yep. And I'm just going to go, all right, fiddlesticks, let's try this again. And just chucks the scythe at him. You have an advantage on the actual damage roll because he's prone, sleepy as well. Okay, so do I need to do a dex thing again? <laughs> well, you could just walk right next to him and just strike. You don't have to throw him. I just want to... All right, fine. I'll just walk next to him and just hit him normally then. I was just trying to be clever. Oh, wait. If you want to be clever, I could have let you do it. No, 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 no. You just... You've, you've ruined it now, so... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I was just thinking about the... Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. I had advantage on that, too. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so he's still asleep. It's just... He just he, there's just a little clank. Just clank like that. I, I didn't say I was attacking... Th I didn't say I was attacking this guy. I was attacking this guy. Oh, okay. Well, in that case... Well, it's more like a clink and a scrape because the metal's like... <clears throat> well, then you don't have the advantage. You had the advantage if it was the sleeping guy. Oh, yeah, okay. Then. But it was still 13 anyway, because that was the first roll anyway. Okay. But that goblin's passed out like Johnny Sazaki. Now it's this goblin. Hey, Josh, can you pick up the damn phone? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, if it was ringing, I couldn't hear it. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, I, I couldn't hear nothing on my end. Here we go. All right, so this um, so this uh, knight like gets out his great sword and starts swinging at Narnia. Oh. Fuck. Um. Oof. Okay, yeah, he gets the first one. So there's minus nine. Uh oh. Oh god. You, you should have stayed where you were, to be honest. I don't know why you like moved forward. Uh oh, this is a party. Well, I mean, she had, she had to get me up off the floor. This is oh, definitely yeah, like a part me. four Kira fighting moment. Like, uh... <laughs> oh my god, it didn't kill me. Yeah. Oh. It's still <laughs> okay, so it is now Cool Point's death save. Now he only has like one roll. Uh oh. Okay, he's resuscitated. <sighs> <What>? <sighs> Oh bloody hell! What's know, going on here? I know Keem's not there, but yay! <laughs> okay, so he like walks over. Oh bloody hell! He's hurt. Like, like he he kind of like goes into like um you know resuscitation procedure. Yeah, there's definitely like that scene in part four where like uh Koichi's trying to get like Jotaro out of like the place for, so he doesn't die or anything. But okay, Red made it. A little halfling. So that's one. So he has one okay. win, one loss. Okay, it's now Nani's turn. You might want Backing to move the turn. absolute hell up. Well, no, be careful. That's an opportunity attack if you do that. Ooh, uh, try to try to move to like where half point is. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that could work. Yeah. Try to move there. No, no, no. no. Still an opportunity or, attack. Yeah, that's not how. Yeah, yeah you you'd have to stay where you are and hope he doesn't do that much. Hmm. Okay, um... Or you could cast another spell. You need him to die before he kills you. Mm. Yeah, really bad. And he... Isn't he next? Or is that the No, it's the one? other... It's the other sleep. Yeah, so Sivlanus can help you out as well, so you need to... Might as well just cast Burning Hands and hope for the best. That could work. Burning Hands. Is there nothing you can do Like, to like, you, like you just grab him by the helmet and you, like... Oh, if, you get, if you get a crit, his helmet, like, melts off his face. Oh, or melts off his face. <laughs> Ooh. I'm so uh, screwed. I am so screwed. Okay, so 11 plus 7. Wow, none is... Yeah, that's... That's um 18, right? Yeah. Fuck it. So minus 18. Wait, is there a dex involved oh. with burning ads, or do you just touch them? I haven't... I think I just touch them. No, hang on, hang on. I've got burning hands here. Uh... Is, is that how dexterity you must make a dexterity saving throw. All right. Take three d six fire damage on a failed save or harvest match on a successful one. 
Okay, he didn't make it past, so that's the full damage. So that's minus 18. Oh, I like that. Like, he's really toasty. Ooh. Oh, like his face is on fire. I'm sorry. The other one's asleep. Now it's, now it's your turn, Seth. It's fine, it's fine. Stop breathing. Yeah, please don't do that. Dram Dramaticness, yeah. I guess. And now, guess Sorry. what? Now it's my turn to do the exact same thing. Do you have an AOE attack? Oh god. We're gonna... We're gonna, we're gonna die. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna set him on fire again. Fire? Do -do 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 -do. Uh, yeah, just do it at level one. God. Oh yeah, he's dead. Oh, I am about ready oh. to pass oh. Like, so, like his face. so the night light just oh, like drops down into like a pile of ash, just pfft, dead. Oh, I can fall out. My like, gosh darn mic moved up. I apologize. That's fine. Okay, so you have beaten all the um, guards, and the cultists have no interest in you, so you're out of danger. Oh, except I just go fiddlesticks, meal time, and just finish the other guy off. <laughs> Strike. You just stab him. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny like when the tokens move. It's like, <laughs> Two part like, death was more like a Skyrim joke. Yeah. <laughs> question. They, like, um, so, uh, they die hey, very no, slowly. Quick question. Hmm. No quick question. Is that is is that the scythe's first true meal? No, we killed one of the other goblin um guys from last time. This time it wasn't ah, my okay. stand. It was like some random chance by nature. It's that music again. So, okay, so for the sake of narrative, I is think everyone's doing their thing inside the crystal long before you finished off that fight. You okay. you still gonna probably want to resuscitate Red. But I'm, like, I'm, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm just, going like, to attempt, yeah, the resuscitate wall. Red. Okay, so he has a vine, so I roll yeah. every two. So he wins the second one, now he needs to win one more. Alright, should I roll that one, or...? Yeah, he wins, fuck it. Okay. You resuscitate Yay! with your HP. Are so, you okay? Are you still there, Red? I slowly look up and like all you see is like my face like covered like in small streaks of blood. <laughs> Never better. <laughs> uh, everything hurts so bad. Yeah, you don't you don't you don't look so hot yourself. I say you know, to me how wounded she looks. Alright. I, I basically I basically like dramatically like pull myself up from the floor but I'm still all bloody. Okay, so everyone, you know, they're all like, you know, re trying to regather their strength. They've taken out the goblins. The the cultists are outside. Mitchell Jefferson has ended his rivalry. Well, let's finish off with the last vignette. Okay. What the fuck? Um, why is Wait. the quarter pine there? And where's Keem? Oh, whoops. Oh, yeah, Sorry, that was a different... Oh, yeah. Where's yeah. Thal and where's, um... Yeah, he's... He, yeah. They, they um, weren't... Maureen. It wasn't planned ahead. Yeah, th mm -hmm. this was... Like, this was the way I thought it would play out, so I, like, just changed it up a little. Hmm. So, you notice... Oh, is there a way I could close all these windows? There should be, like, a close all windows button, because there's, like, so many stat sheets that aren't even relevant anymore. So, okay, let me tell you... Maurice, Dark where's Maurice? Oh, yeah, you'll find him, don't worry. Okay. Where, where the hell am Ari? I... I have no idea. So you're in some sort of, like, ballroom masquerade or whatever, and you have, like, people dancing and all that? Like, you see, like, all kinds of creatures, like gnomes, elves, fae, humans and stuff. Uh, we don't have time for this. Where is the Goblin King? like some kind of dream? Someone else's dream? Mm. Let's see. see. See, you can look around, you can speak to people. Wait, is Jake re is Jake really here? Yeah, Jake's here as well. Oh. There you are. Yeah, yeah, hey. So what's going, what, what's going on? This is some sort of reality marble of some sort. Maybe a memory, perhaps? I've been trying to figure out a way out of here. Hmm. Oh, look! Ten out ten's over there! Sigoy! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> damn it! Damn it, Thal! Concentrate! Concentrate! No time for thoughts! No time for thoughts! Kim's, I, 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 Kim's just standing there, dumbfounded and in disbelief. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway. So this is some sort of reality marbles. 
Yeah, I imagine it's one of his main abilities. Alright, so how do we break out of it? Well, either he lets us out or we kill him. Well, I don't see him in this room. All of a sudden- the wrong ball? Okay, so you see like an owl like come down. Woohoo! Okay, if I remember anything from Labyrinth. <laughs> okay, then you see like a mysterious mask. Okay, ignore the fact that it says Goblin King on it, alright? Pretend he's like mask. Mm. <laughs> oh. Just like draw. <laughs> oh, it seems we have guests. You here for the party? Yeah, I'm rolling inside. Okay, roll inside. You have to roll really high because he's wearing a mask. Mm. Same here. You look like a just ravy person! Okay. Okay, Keem. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Keem is still dumbfounded by everything that's just happened around him. The sudden change of atmosphere, the ballroom. <laughs> the... Yeah. And he's just too concerned looking everywhere for Mori that he's not paying much attention to the person before him. Tell me, are you... have you lost something? Huh? N yeah, no... I... Just leave me alone, okay? Wait, I, can, can, felt, uh, can I wear, like, procession see if he's wearing those tight pants? Oh my god. I mean, he <laughs> he could just be another guy that happens to also wear the tight pants. <laughs> Come on, what? those no, tight pants? Goblin King is the only man who wears that tight of pants. Yep. It's, it's, yeah, like, it's like that... Uh, it's like that Stanley Ipkiss moment. There's only two, there's only one person that would wear these kind of pajamas. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Fine. Roll perception. Yep. <laughs> you notice his pants are awfully tight. All right. Pull out my axe. Hello, Goblin King. What? What the hell? Jake goes in. What the hell are you doing? This is just an illusion creature. No. 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 Look at his pants. Oh, bugger. I was going to have a monologue and everything. Deep introspection. <laughs> backstory. And yet you fucking ruined it, Fall. Oh. Well, I'm not... <laughs> I saw through your disguise. Oh! I noticed your t your pants. Your pants. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, so he snaps his fingers and all the... Um, Okay, so he snaps his fingers and like all the <clears throat> all the people disappear. And lastly is the Fey King, who's his father. He's like, oh, sorry, father. And he disappears as well into a puff of smoke. Now, you, you said you were going to prepare a whole monologue. Well, I'm not really in the mood. I'm not really one for monologues. I'm more in line of, uh, you know, killing bitches. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Uh Kim, Kim draws his crossbow. Where is my dog? Oh, he's perfectly safe. He's having kibble. I don't believe you. No, uh, no, I'm actually fucking serious. He's having kibble. But I have to deal with you first. Believe me. When I get my hands on Be Beard Deli, I know, I know, but um, Kim doesn't know yet. Uh. I have a fate for him. That involves him and Maury. To be honest, all my capos. Wait, can I, can, wait, can I interrupt, game? Sure. Game. Dude, Beer Deli is stuck in a piss dimension. Wait, what? Yeah, he's stuck in a piss dimension. Mitchell trapped him in. He's not going to bother anyone for a while. What do you mean by. I don't. You know what? I'll question it later. <laughs> I think he's fucking dead, that's what I think. But, but, Goblin King, you have one line. I'm just going to say this. You can you, you can change this all around. You can stop the unnecessary bloodshed. You can stop the selling the beer to children. I'm assuming that's your idea. You can turn this all around. So... Mm. Thanks. How far does this have to go, King? Okay, roll persuasion. I think it's fair if you actually have a shot. <laughs> uh, thanks, but um, no thanks. I have to make an empire that'll spread across all the realms. Only then would my own father notice me. 
Wasn't that your father behind there? Yes. This place was my most fondest memory when I was actually invited. Invited to what? It was a masquerade ages ago. All the bastard children were invited. Were there any hot bitches there? Oh my goodness, if there was an 11 out of 10, you would find them. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> I just said... Jake's looking, you, you, you can't be serious, right? Like, he's killed my family, I thought we were going to kill him, weren't we? Jake, just hold on for a second. Yeah, wait, I'm asking my poet. I'm asking an important question about how many hot bitches were at the masquerade party. These these questions are very important. <laughs> Jake, you clearly haven't hanging around with this guy enough. Trust me, this is nothing. This is nothing real. <laughs> I can tell. Goblin King, why? <laughs> I know there's so many other things I'd ask you, but right now I just have to ask, why? Why did you put Jake through that? Okay. So, your fault or not that your your henchmen killed them, but you had him bury them. What kind of sick fuck comes up with this shit? Has this become a habit? What did you see yourself becoming? A ruler or some sort of fucking sick... Why? What goes through your head? It takes... A, me. It takes a... If you grew up in the Goblin Lands, you would understand that acquiring such wealth, having such control, such a small stature, we take vast numbers and no casualties. Well, not no casualties. Um, no prisoners. Yeah, oh, can't Goblin go King, history, history. I know it's not the same land, but I was raised by goblins. Wait, fact, you were wait, you were raised by goblins? Yeah, I lived with them. I oh, you talking about those inbred bunkins? I know way too well. It was I who exiled them. <laughs> and it did a lot of good, because here I am. Yes, you are here to die. Yes. We'll see about that, but listen to me. It's because of good people like them that I'm here. And I single-handedly prevented a civil war. Why won't you let me save both of you? It doesn't have to go down this way. I'm not gonna stop. I don't care if it takes my life. But, dear God, one way or another, I'm gonna change things. I've already made a mark here. I prevented a civil war. I can damn well as hell go and try and do things further. I will make good here. And what about my parents, Keem? Tell me about... What? Every... Who's talking? Jake. Oh, oh, Jake's talking. You can expect me to lie over with this agreement of yours? Without my consultation? This has been an entire decade in the planning and you're gonna flush it down the drain like that? I'm not flushing anything down. I'm just rearranging some things. I'd say we have to take him in. And which right. which organization, which order would be willing to take this guy prisoner? The political connotations would send shivers down the entire rune guard structure. We'll find a way. And if not, then you could have your revenge. Hey, let's wait! Roll persuasion. Okay. Okay. Alright. Wait, who am I persuading who? You're persuading oh. Jake. Oh wait, no, oh, damn it. Okay. You, have, you have to persuade Jake to take a different stance on the issue. Oh. Jake, Jake nods and listens. Find a cell and throw away the key. Jake, trust me, I get it. I'll, I'll be up front with you here. And you as well, Thal. That bear deli, what I had planned for him in my head, it reminded me of the Goblin King for a second. Had I have had my hands on him, on his last dying breath, I would have brought him straight to Maurice and told him, you know what? Instead of kibble, 
Nobody has a goblin for lunch. Dogs can't eat kibble, kibble king. What? I mean, dogs can't eat. Kibble. Wait, wait, they, wait, they, they can't. They got. I, I had no idea. I was uh, improving. I was improving oh, when I, I said mean... it. <laughs> Sorry, I meant, I, I meant humans and goblins. They don't like that. I mean, there was one time I tried feeding one dog in one city, like a corpse of a thing, but then... The Goblin King is like face farming, like, and he's like scr scrunching his eyes. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've had enough of this. And like that, and he like sends dance magic... Ah, there's a spy! He sends dance magic dance and like lays the first blow. Too tall, I'm assuming. Yeah, too far. I just need to bring him out. Oh, where is the little fella? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, try to feed the dog like a human that. Okay, shaboom! Like that, and and. and... Oh. Doc! Well, hold on, hold on. Sorry, <laughs> like hit him all. Hit him all. <laughs> he ping pongs back. <laughs> Doc! Whoa, something weird's going on with the boxes. Oh, sorry. Right. It's like, hold on. Oh, I think it works now. Yeah, is it is it is it happening in the character sheet stuff? Oh why he doesn't he does he doesn't have a sheet that's why okay so you have to use the Goblin King for this okay so Goblin King sends out some punches like like that but like foul like drops like you know ducks. Hey, it's very rude to interrupt a person telling his messed up story. He then he then like leaps backwards into like a like a like a boss pose. And then all of a sudden, like, you just hear a rumble and everything starts shaking. Roll dexterity to see if you go prone for the start of the round. All of <laughs> yeah, all of you. That probably includes Jake. Let me get that. Oh, okay. So Jake, Jake, Jake fell prone. Ooh, like that. Used to a fine. So all the walls start, like, breaking down. Like, all the walls start crumbling, entire pillars are, like, spiralling up in the air, it's absolute, like, chaos, the entire realities begin to crumble. Wow, this is like the acid trip I had that one time. Whoa! Oh, Holy that's shit. cool. Yeah. You are in my world now. Oh, it's like some earthbound oh, shit. Oh god, it's the labyrinth! <laughs> oh wait, are oh, you sure this one won't get you cut? Me? It's a different- it's a, it's a different voice actor, it's a cover, and I've lowered it a little, and it's only on Twitch, it's, it's a slightly different okay. system. I'm willing to roll dice on this one. Mm. So, okay, let's roll initiative. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> um, Keem seems to have disappeared from the list. Yeah, I saw it too. Yeah. Keem, you alright? Yeah, I'm here. You know, in the thing, can you try refreshing the. Oh, re okay. Try re rolling, I guess. Maybe we were selecting it. Oh, someone disappeared. I oh. I thought yeah, that's yeah, what you did. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. If you refresh, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Captain Juice, bro, stop thinking with your dick. <laughs> That's not like the best line. I mean, in terms of subtlety, I, I think them. Red's more subtle than uh, Thal is. <laughs> subtle, oh, yeah. uh, okay. He just right. thinks I mean, about I mean, them I mean, snake kids. Just... And, yeah, okay, but initiative roll. Just goes up incessant. Okay. All right. Do you want me to try rolling initiative again? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. You do because you're not on the list. All right. Yeah. Not on the list. You're not on the list, dummy. Okay. That's better. All right, there we go. And the Goblin King gets bullshit rolls again. <laughs> yep. Let me just uh, descending. Okay, <clears throat> so the Goblin King goes first. So he like, so he like takes a few steps forward with his strut, and then he gets out his stand to do like a flurry of punches against Fall. But Fall's still raged up, so it's only going to take half damage. All right. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, that yeah. that actually hits. So that does a nice four damage to Fall. Fall was actually like, really ripped, so it's like barely does anything. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that that tickled. That that tickled. Um, uh, while, you, while you guys duke it out, I just need to go and use the facilities. Sure thing. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, it's now... Some food. Fair enough. It is now Jake's turn. My headcanon now is that whenever the barbarians rage up, it's like uh, Fist of the North Star, kind of. I imagine like the Kyle can from Dragon Ball Z, actually. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I think that one's kind of better, I guess, in terms of context, because it's more well-known, I suppose. So, so Jake like, runs in and throws a volley of knives. <sighs> like that, like a, like a Naruto Shrek. kind of thing, you know? So he does his volley of knives attack. Ooh. Ooh. But is it enough? Yes, yeah, enough. I got popcorn. It's a knife volley. Uh, 13. Yeah, it's 13. Yeah, so it does a whole 13 damage. <sighs> like that. So he, so the Goblin King gets hurt. Like one of the knives getting his shoulder and he like pulls it out. Man, I'm, I regret le letting you live, you insolent fool. Hey, words I understand. It's now Keen's turn. Uh, remind me what Vicious Mockery does. Vicious Mockery. Okay, let me check. Because it's similar to the other one, which is cutting words. Uh, which one is better? Well, no, no, you, you can use both in the same turn to maximize and minimize advantage, disadvantage. And do they count as, do they count as spells? Uh, one counts as spell, the other counts as, counts as a bardic um, ability. Okay, so cutting words. Here's what cutting words does. So cutting words is the one where you roll the dice against him with a d6. The other one gives him disadvantage and some psychic damage. So the psychic damage one is Bardic. Uh, yeah, there's, no, psychic one is a spell. It's a Bardic spell, but it's still a spell. The other one is just straight up ability. You use the ability when he does a move and you could give him a disadvantage to force his um, ability. Or to Check me, that. because because his bloody bullshit stand reflects magic. Oh shit, you're right. So yeah, you can't use that. But you can use the cutting words when he makes a move. Or you could give Fall an advantage with a Bardic Inspiration and shoot a crossbow. Wait, wait, hang on. Um, so wait, is Vicious Mockery the spell or is Cutting Words the spell? Cutting Words you use as a reaction, meaning that you'll use it when the Goblin King makes does any move. And is that the spell? No, that's the ability. So you can use that without any consequences. And kind of words is the one where you roll the dice against his. Oh, hang on, no, I'm I'm confused. You said cutting words twice. Yeah, kind words is the good one. Vicious mockery is the spell which you don't want to use against him. Okay, and remind me what cutting words does. Cutting words is like a bardic inspiration, but it's in reverse against enemies as a reaction. Mm. All right, all right. So I'll save my cutting words for him when he makes the next move. Yes. All right, all right. Well, in that case, um... Shit. I can't... I, I forget. When I look at these things, like uh, like well, my sword breaker and my hand crossbow, I see 1d6 and 1d6, you know, plus 3. It looks... Are those the damages? Is it the same? Uh, because if I'm reading this correctly, my Swordbreaker and Hand Crossbow do the same damage. Is, am I reading this right? Yeah, it, yeah, it does. Because it's a short sword breaker. Hmm. So I guess in that case, I'll just use the crossbow. Yeah, I guess I'll just use the crossbow because it's no better. I could turn yeah, it to a long sword afterwards at some point. It's fine. Sorry? It could it could get buffed to a longsword later on if you like. Don't worry. Ooh, but, nice. But if it's a longsword, then that means I won't be able to hold my uh, hand crossbow, right? Well, you can. If you was find two targets, you could swing the sword on him and then another. But because it's only him, you might as well stick with the crossbow. Sorry, I guess I'm holding everyone up. I guess we'll talk about this later. Okay, so I'll use the hand crossbow on um, 
the king. Oh, right, very well. And you miss. Tactics, I get the 16. Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. In that case, you get... Yeah, it works. So the stand tries to get out in the way, but it goes past the stand and strikes him. For a nice... 5 damage. Ugh! One of many tickles to come, King. Who's gonna fall first? From laughter. I don't think it'll be you, but you're definitely gonna fall. We'll see about that. Alright. Okay, my turn. Um, can If I use one strike, can I do a follow-up attack, or I can only use one strike? No, you can only use it as an action, wind strike. It's made for, like, knocking multiple enemies down, so it's more AoE-based. Alright, then I'm just gonna stick to strike at him with my great axe, battle, my battle axe twice at then. Alright. And what does Relentless... I'm keep forgetting. Relentless... Reckless attack does... Reckless attack gives you advantage. Savage attacks give you, um... Oh no, that's, that's something. Okay, so yeah. Reckless attack basically gives you the advantage, and then there's frenzy you could do where you use an extra one, but you get exhausted afterwards. So you could do three attacks in a row, basically, if you plan to get exhausted after the entire fight. Mm. All right, we'll just stick with. I'll just, um, I'll just fucking attack him twice. All right. Yeah. Just that seems like a pretty good thing to do. All right. You hit. Same. And you hit, and we add two on each one, so let's see. Nine, and ten. So that is twelve plus eleven. That makes twenty-three. Mm -hmm. So you do a lot of damage, so like, fall, you know, he's running in, he gets his axe. Mm. Oh, like that, like, like, it's like... Wait, hold on. Shit, I just read through his list, hold on. Mm. Okay, you can only use this once. So, like, the Gorm King can see the other attack coming, and he goes in and he uses the, the reaction known as Illusory Self. Oh, okay. So, well, he disappears into a puff of smoke and starts laughing. <laughs> you can't pretend you can't see him, even though he is here. Wait, where is he? <sighs> like that. Where is he? Damn it! Now, all three of you have to roll perception, and you need to make it past 20. Got it. Well, I'm I'm not gonna do that. Shit. Team failed. Oh wait, well, since I raised up, doesn't that add? So, no, that's that's for athletics. Has a smoke in his eye. <laughs> Rage only works for athletics ability check, so it's like, oh look, I'm climbing and all that, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. so Jake furiously is like looking for the puff of smoke for him. And yeah, he fails to see him. Stay close to Gary, could be anywhere. So hold on, if it was... Oh yeah, it's the Goblin King's turn if it was Fowl's turn, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, so the Goblin King appears behind Keem and takes... Uh... Look behind you! No, you, you don't see... You don't no, no, see him. Yeah, it's a little too late. Like too late. It too is late. for yeah, after. Yeah. So he has advantage because he's, you know, just came out of invisibility. So the Goblin King, like, gets out his, like, punches and he goes in. Oh, shit. Yeah, he strikes you for a nice minus 14. <laughs> like that. Yeah! Fuck, Kim, are you alright? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking that as a sign that you had do I, pre do I get pushed back or? A little bit. Not too much. Uh, you should have accepted yeah. the deal, Keem. Things could have been so much better. Sorry, you just had to give some monologuing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Villain thing. Yeah, so, so Jake's turn. Like, Jake uh, looks at the knives and drops them and, and pulls out, like, some sort of weird metal device. It's some sort of... Like, it's, it's similar to, like, the lead launcher thing that Keen has. Yeah. So, like, he runs over. Hey, I'm over here, you dingus. Like, that. he gets out his, um... He gets out his lead launcher 
and goes in for a very special attack. It goes past his AC and like strikes him. Throws the Goblin Kick and oh, like that. Whoa. It does a lot of damage as well. Damn. Well, hold on, let me see. Every time a magic use. Uh... They must roll a higher DC. Wait, hold on. They must roll a D4. Every time they hit, they must. There was a DC somewhere. Don't tell me I forgot to write something down involving this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, no, that, that, that's only something that Noob would say wouldn't be the first time. Oh, it's Constitution. Okay, so the Goblin King, like, he gets hit first for, like, a nice 15 damage. But then, like, he feels something as, like, the bullet has struck him. Like, all the veins, like, begin, like, like popping in his head a little. <sighs> like that, like, like it's, like, it's very unusual. It's almost like he's reacting poorly, like an allergic reaction. That's wow, what did you do to him? Okay, so yeah, he, he takes the full damage as well. So that's a whole extra, like, minus 34. Oh! Holy shit, looks like we can actually win this one. I've waited an entire decade for this. Do you know what this is? I had to do a little searching. This is an origin bullet. It's made for killing magic casters. Glad he didn't <laughs> shoot that at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, Sam. You could <laughs> he could have stayed and killed you if he wanted to. Like holy shit! Mm. <sighs> I'll get you for this. Like that, you just see the like the veins like popping in his head and all that. It is now uh, Keem's turn. Um, am I able to use um? Oh, hang on, what is it? Hang on. Am I able to use cure wounds on myself and attack or no? You can use cure wounds, but you can't attack. Hmm. This is a bit of a okay, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna move um over uh over here. Yeah. And take aim again. Alright. Alright, here we go. Oh. You try to hit him but like he like just dodges out the way. Dark soul. Is that all you have, Tralala? Ciao. Uh, ciao. Uh, that was from that was from the movie. Talking, <laughs> pimple head. All right, I'm getting really tired. I I really just want to finish this. If I get tired, Jake, do your magic JoJo Bojo cell cell stuff on him, okay? Right, he like nods. <laughs> I, I assume he just nods like, what the hell did he just say? Yeah. <laughs> he, he, or that, and he also nods in a good Or, or he just shrugged okay. and nod. Okay, let's do this. Alright, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to do the frenzy, so I want to attack him three times. Alright, very well. Do it. Do it. Uh-oh. Miss, misses the first one. Gets him the second. Gets him? What? No, he doesn't get it the third. Shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. That's that a wolf. So you got rid of like 12 wait, health. Uh, it's plus two. Oh, wait. It... Plus two? Yeah, that's 14. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're right. Sorry. So yeah, yeah you so got rid of minus 14. He, the the one middle one should it? Yeah. Well, oh, his AC is higher. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's 15. <laughs> Wait, Sam, but the third, the third, the third attack, that's 14, plus two, shouldn't that be 16? No, your, your middle attack was, it was 10, then 16, oh. then 14. Okay, so it doesn't add on Maggie. Okay, now mine. Yeah. Okay, so now it's the Goblin King's turn. Remember, King, oh. you, you can use uh, cutting words to insult him in the middle ah. of an attack. Ah. Uh, yep. So, like... Uh, do I want me to use it first? Oh, no, you use it once he makes the move. Okay, so the Goblin King, like, sends out his stand again. And, like, it just appears behind Keem. They're behind you! So, like... Uh, I'm trying to think of something to say in, um, in... Uh, what was it called? Cutting words or vicious... Uh, no, cu called? cutting words. Cutting words is the one you want to use. Make fun of his pants! 
<laughs> you know, for one thing, Thal was right about something that I actually agreed on. Your pants are ridiculous. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, take that back. My pants are marvelous. Your uh, pants. Your pants look gay. Okay, so roll a d6. Whoa. Roll a d6. Ooh. Who me? Me? The, yeah. The first roll. Like first you roll. Things. First you roll a d6. I'm gonna be generous for this. Okay, so it's minus two. Now you have to roll yourself a dexterity saving for your grapple thing because it the, the stand has like these metal cufflinks. Dexterity save? Yeah, dexterity save. It has metal cufflinks to so the magno. It doesn't make it, so it does strike you. Shit. Ouch! So like Keem is knocked out. Keem! Ah. Like, he's like pushed back and injured. J Jake, Jake looks and he's like, Keem, no, like that, like, like he's actually concerned and all that. That was awfully loud. <laughs> what? Nothing. No, come on, dude, like this. <laughs> I'm still sitting there looking at some of these numbers and thinking. That's still a little bit on the strong side, isn't it? That's fine. It's yeah. fine. We're close. We're close. We're close. Fine. We're gonna okay. kill his ass. I did. Get, I did though get technically two shotted. But you're not dead. You only mostly yeah, but dead. Something tells me even if I use cure There's wounds, I still would have been mostly dead this. and all dead. <laughs> Princess yeah. Bride for you. So Jake, Jake furiously, like gets out his like gun and like goes in for another shot. And misses. Oh, <laughs> missing. Well, you don't know. Let's see. He like loads up and gets another bullet. Oh, no. yeah. yeah, but it misses, and he like dodges out of the way. Ha <laughs> ha! Too slow. <sighs> Damn it! Ricochets off the back wall and hits him in the back of the head. Yeah, he's dead. Mm. No. Oh, okay. Well, we could factor that in somehow. God damn it! I right, came roll a death death save. Just uh, this again. Uh, it's a, just roll one d twenty. Yeah. One, one d twenty. Yeah, pretty much. That's a uh, fail. God. Shit, I'm dying. Oh, damn it! <sighs> this bad. Don't let this you die here. God damn it! This bad. This okay, Fall, It's up to you. You have to. You have to. You have to stop this. <sighs> Come on. You gotta stop this madness. Yeah, I still do the twice. You could twice still attack. do you could do frenzy until the whole fight's over, so basically that's your third attack. So you can't you can't keep going. Okay. Come on. I can do this. What's the matter? Feeling tired? Alright, that's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. A sec Second one. That hits as well. That's a hit. Oh, that's a paddling. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 8, 11... Okay, so that's like 6 added to those 3. So that's... Up. So 15 plus 13 makes uh, 28 plus a 10, 10. That makes 38. So yeah, like, Foul just like does yeah, does just, like a... Just KO'd him. Yeah, he just straight up ends him like... Like that. <laughs> ah, like... Like, yeah. He like falls back What's injured. <laughs> What's the matter? You were talking so much. Wait, 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 you were talking hot shit earlier. Guess you couldn't cast the axe to you, your head. You vile brute. Vile wow, brute. Says a person that killed a person's parent and forced it, forced him to bury his own parents without his knowledge. And you call me a brute. Game. Oh wait, he's knocked out. Jake, what's that word for someone saying something that's completely? Nah. Jake, Jake, Jake's completely like just had enough of this. He like gets out his origin bullet and just busts him in the head, bush like that. Come on, man! Oh. Come on, man. I was trying to say something cool before I killed him. Yes, well, the moment has passed. Like that. So, so like, like basically, the bullet like reacts to his body horribly, causing all his magic circuits to fry up. It's kind of like nerve endings, but they're like all like like frying up from the inside out. And he like disintegrates oh, into like cool. smoke. You don't you don't really like heroic monologues, do you? I like results. The stand still exists. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that let that fade. The stand turns into like a little gem and falls on the floor. 
Oh, oh, cool. Thal takes a gem. The entire place begins to like disintegrate as like it, like the, the reality of Marvel just begins to crumble, and they find themselves back into the waking world. Okay, so let's get everyone like just around the magic ball, so they've already like tr traced them back. What, including us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, within the time they were fighting, you have made it back. I feel like I feel like Mincer would also be with Nanya again, so you don't have to have to worry about Mincer there. Mincer yeah. is probably a non Squeak, squeak, again. squeak, squeak, like that. I, I, I run over because I see Kim on the ground. Kim, what happened to him? I, I look over at Jake oh, dramatically. Kim, uh, the Goblin King knocked him out. He'll be fine, right, buddy? Okay. Come on. Hey. Did I roll another d20? Uh, roll d20 with advantage. What do you mean advantage? Well, it means, it means you... You roll, two, you roll a d20 twice and you take the highest number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you win that one. Next. No, that was that was and two that... d20s at the same time. You were supposed to roll one separately. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay, well, he still would have won he because... Didn't roll 13, yeah. yeah, he rolled the 13 yeah, on the he, first he one, so... Oh, yeah. I didn't know I was supposed to roll it separately, sorry. I'm used to seeing it separately, sorry, dude. Okay, sorry, next dude. one. So it was a 13 and an 8. Well, you passed that one. Yeah, you passed you it, yeah. Which would have gone with the... Okay, roll the next dice. Just, just a d20, not a d22? Just, just d20. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Okay, you win that one. Last one. Come on, Keem. Okay, Keem, Keem's away. He's back up. Yeah, it's home. Keem! Hey. You all right? Um, Nanya actually does something really cute. She ends up taking Keem and hugging him. Are you okay? He goes, I can't breathe. I know, it's okay. I'm sorry. Shh. Are you okay? Hey, I, you, I told you guys you'll be, he'll be all right. <sighs> You're just lucky he got out of that and got out of that alive. What exactly happened in Where's there? Ma where's the dog? Wait, yeah, where is Maurice? I don't know. Elf, elf. Oh shit, I forgot I forgot about the I forgot about the dog, yeah. So the dog was in a different like compartment of the ball, but he's back now. Let me just bring him out. Oh, so was he crazy? supposed to join us in the fight? The... No, he it wasn't meant to join you in the fight, but it, like but you notice like the dog had like like a bag of kibble that like, he's still like nibbling on. Oh wow, he wasn't lying. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? It's okay. Shh, cough. I need a week's rest now. <laughs> yeah. We should yeah, we should probably find somewhere to rest for the day. She ends up picking up Keem, by the way, so that uh Well it's not Keem like she okay. it's not like she can't do that given the fact <laughs> <laughs> and, and, um, <laughs> we're never gonna forget that moment you fucking punched in a door. Yeah, that was the best part. It's clipped it's too. Funny. I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. This wizard yeah. mom decides to break a door in. And, and, and through your words, there are many ways to play a warlock. A wizard. A wizard. Ja oh, wizard. Fuck. Wizard. Jake looks out into the. You play to play a wizard. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay. Um, Sec Sec is gonna say something. Okay. Yeah. So Jake looks out into different like distances, like, oh, my work here is done. He looks towards a core pine, and they both like nod at each other before like, kind of walking off. I'm still mad at you for stealing my my heroic monologue. Mitchell Mitchell Jefferson like like looks. Who the fuck's that guy? Ah, uh, uh, some guy, um, Goblin King killed his parents, swore vengeance, killed the Goblin King. Well, I killed the Goblin King. He stole my, stole my heroic monologue. Hmm. Oh, I got this cool gem. Hmm, a gem, you say? Does anyone, okay, does anyone want to intervene or are they just going to walk off? No, this part I'm just like, we really wait, wait. can't be walking. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Let him have a silent badass moment. Let, let, him just let, let, him, let him just walk off. If he becomes a problem at another time, then we'll deal yeah, with it, him. Yeah, we'll make more sense. Keem! Keem! Like, like, he just noticed that like, Keem's hurt. Oh, are you alright? Uh, Since we both survived the brink of death, 
Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, sorry about the whole sort of dousing you in fire and acid earlier. Was... Roll persuasion. Let's see how well he feels about it. Roll persuasion. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't... Both of you roll, both of you roll persuasion. I'll roll persuasion. Oh, it uh, did good. Okay. Well, the circumstances were pretty heavy-handed, I, I don't blame you. Yeah, I I'll summon him here. I'll Anyways, you I... so she... Oh, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm still holding Keem, she's kind of just carrying him in her arms like a baby. <laughs> Jesus, get a rim, you two. My right arm and my tail is just now. Is just now's not the time. Down. By the way, what? where'd you get that crystal from, anyway? Oh, his stand drop it. Drop it. You want to take a look? Yeah. I... Okay, Red can now. Okay, now Red has an optional swap ability where he could swap out his hammer time for the ability to negate one spell cast from an enemy for a fight. So per fight, he can stop one spell from happening. Hmm. Well, that's, a, that's right, he had the hammer time ability. We, we all completely forgot about that. Oh, yeah. so he has, a, he has like a wild card ability, like from Sonom. Mm. Yeah, but he could swap it out for stand? dance magic. Mm. Yeah, Red still has a stand, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but like, it's, oh, it's, it's the like gem. my, my the, stand. The gem, it, he has the ability yeah. to, yeah, he has the ability to steal abilities from other stands, but he has to like pick one at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'll, I'll take a crystal in case we encounter any magic users. Fair enough. Okay. Me like, I, could, I could basically just look at him and go, "Nah, he ain't gonna cast that." You know. But you'd so, have to swap it out crystal. before the fight, though. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'll. Uh, I'll just. I'll just take it and put it in my inventory. Mitchell Jefferson beckons to Fall. Hey, Fall, come here. Come here. What's up? Just pocket set. Fall, that was amazing. You, but before he has a chance to say anything, they get interrupted as they hear like a Scottish accent in the background. Hey, adventurers! Uh, a little help over here! Hey, Darius, what's up? Like, you, you look, you hear it. No, no, you hear him, but you can't see him. Oh, well, can we roll, per can I roll perception? <laughs> roll investigation, uh, Red. Okay, I'll, I'll roll investigation. I could have sworn I heard something. Okay, advice here, yeah, 18. So, uh, Red hears, but he can't see, so he walks over to get closer to the sound. Where the, I could have sworn I heard a Scottish giant talking, but I don't know where. Okay, you, you notice that, like, Darius, throughout the entire fight, was literally just holding onto the edge of a uh, puddle. What? Uh, Wait, orange puddle? Is it yellow? Uh, Mitchell Jefferson, like... Uh, oh shit! Uh, and, like he snaps his fingers and like Darius goes out of the reflection of the puddle. <sighs> oh my god! So do I notice him now? Or yeah, you notice oh, him now. Kind of, that kind of explains oh. where Darius has been this whole time. Speaking yeah. of which, where were you? He gave me the slip. I tread in a like he told me, "Hey, you want to bet how deep this puddle is?" And I went in. It was very deep. And you mm. fell for it. I'm not one for turning down a dare. Oh, yeah. Well, give me a break. Mitchell. Well, we all... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Mitchell Jefferson then beckons Fall again. Uh, as I was saying, Fall, Fall, come here. What's up? How would you like to be capo of my family? Mitchell, I need to ask you a question. Yes? <clears throat> The whole Goblin King thing made me realize something. This all started because he because he been kind of a prick, not even kind of. He was a pr he was a prick to people. Are you going to repeat the same thing? Foul. There's a lot of institutions out there that I will need to dismantle. Horrible, vile ones of a dark era. Maybe if I could bring a new face to Goblin Kind, we might be able to. Save Rune Guard or whatever. Ignore the fact that I said whatever. That's literally me saying it. <laughs> I'll accept. I'll accept the position under one condition. Yes. I'm. I'm. <clears throat> whenever you need me to come by, come by. I'll come by. But I still want to do some adventuring with these group of assholes. <laughs> I, <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's... Assholes. I mean assholes. What's the word I'm looking for? Endearing? Is that a word? 
Is that associates, one? maybe you were trying to think of? Associates, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Sevi. <laughs> okay, so there's a scene I want to play out anyway, even though things went a little differently. Ignore the fact that it's a reflection. Just step over here, Fall. Yeah, go for it. So I'm going to like wrap up the whole like gangstar goblin arc thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! So let's... Uh, the finishing arc. So yeah, let's let's finish this up, okay? <clears throat> I think it is. I'm trying mm. to find it. It is called. Ah, here it is. Okay, so with Beardelli and the Goblin King defeated, no one was there to oppose Mitchell Jefferson's rule as he was now officially the Gobfather. You can follow Mitchell Jefferson. They went through many trials, tribulations, a lot of moral quandaries, but eventually they made it to the throne. Mm. <laughs> what? Ah, the music oh, wait, he, choice. oh wait, so Mitchell's the Gamma King now. Well, yeah, something like that. Like, since there's no Goblin King, I he's... Think... Well, yeah, and I and now my headcanon is that in this world, the term Goblin King is like a like their version of like a capo, which is like a yeah. big, big guy in a mafia. The boss of bosses. So they had a party, they all celebrated, like they danced around their thing. Yeah. Got drunk, I don't know. Foul? I mean, they did. Lilo like, like, Fall, I hereby promote you as Capo. You you get to kiss his uh, hand. I have to kiss your hand again. I just realized this is an instrumental version of Gangster's Paradise. Yes, yeah. this is. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Fall is. I have to kiss your hand again. You could kiss on the ring. You don't have to touch any flesh or anything. Jeez. I still. I still. <laughs> no homo. Jeez. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. Okay. So he kisses, kisses his ring. He kisses his ring. It is official. You are now a capo. Every week you shall receive 75 gold. Sweet. It comes with a few strings attached, but nothing major. I'll keep all my quests ethical just for you, Fall. Sweet. Thanks. So all the, all the goblins nodded their thing, and like, they all... Please. They all, um... Oh, oh, Go on. What do you want to say, Fal? Wait a second. Jake wants to dismantle all the <clears throat> goblin, mo go all the goblins mafia. How you gonna deal with them? Yes. We'll cross that bridge as it comes. He's a disgruntled individual like so many others. We need to work on maybe like fixing the goblin's reputation and stuff. We've brutalized entire peoples. It's gonna take a while. Makes sense. Maybe if I open up some casinos, they could drown their misery in gambling or some shit. I don't know. And there's some pastime. Yay, Yay gambling! <laughs> gambling solves everything. So the goblet, so the goblins and like a few like orc bodyguards, they begin to exit out. And they leave awfully quick. You don't even see them like leave the room. They just kind of go. Just what the hell? Huh? Did, they move in uniform. Did did you just see that? What? Did they run as fast as fuck? Maybe I. Boy. I I don't know. It's a dark smoke begins to grow around the place. Oh god damn it! Fuck. The place gets like shadowed in darkness, and you hear like slow clapping. Bravo, bravo. Alright, can I roll to see if I recognize that voice? Uh, yeah, roll history check, but you have to get it really high because no one knows this guy. Yeah, you, you don't know him. Who are you? Who's this guy? You got rid of a very pesky individual who was against my operations. And just as planned, you have become the new Goblin King. You see, like, a little bit of a face, like, emerge out. You can't see it fully. There's, like, a shade of, like, red and, like, pale skin. 
like green eyes just staring back into the darkness. The hell? Are any of us here, or is it just Fall and... It's yeah, just Fall and the Goblin Fall. King. Yeah. This is like mafioso oh, private like shit. Like a tavern by now. Yeah. Mm. The Goblin King has been a, a fawn in my side for a very long time. He's been sending doppelgangers to spy on my operations. I have a gift for you, Mitchell Jefferson. If you would be so kind. All of a sudden, like, just like, it's almost like teleportation or something. Like a decapitated doppelganger head, like, just a pops right in Mitchell Jefferson's lap. Uh-oh. Mitchell Jefferson, like, looks and the face begins to form to be his what is uh, ex-wife. <gasps> like that, and like, like, you know, like, tosses it on the floor. Consider this a warning, a punishment. But I also come bearing gifts. Daddy! It, it turns out to be a uh, blanket. <laughs> blanket? He's been an app. So, like, like the, the bag are still talking. He's been an absolute nosy little boy. But don't worry. He had better use for me alive than dead. Consider this a mercy. He is now yours. Dad! Like that, like, so he comes in terrified, like, hugging his dad. And Mitchell Jefferson's like, huh, who are you? But before, like, he could, like, get a proper eye contact of him, he's like, he appears right next to him. Just listen here. You might be a goblin lord, but don't you ever forget who's king. And then he, like, just kind of, like, fades into, like, the darkness and, like, leaves. In perfect time with the music, too. Yeah. The, the lights begin to, like, emerge again. Oh, I... Go on. Okay, I'm assuming you want me to find out this guy, right? No, I know exactly who he is. Who I... is he? He was an external threat of the goblins. The only crime family are bigger than ours. They call they call them the Blood Society. It's run Blood by Society. it's run by a vicious monster, like a like he looks like a blood elf, but incredibly pale. He's they call him the Crimson King. Wait, okay, I'm going to roll history to see if he remembers anything about the blood elves. All right. No, you know nothing I about have blood no elf. No idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. What I I have no idea what the blood elves are. Foul. Like you just shrug. So like foul, like Mitchell Jeffs is still hugging Blanky. Oh, Blanky, Blanky, like that, like that he's hugging. <laughs> and like 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 Blanky's crying. Thank you, mommy. Like that, like he's just really sad and all that. So like um, Mitchell Jefferson then turns to Foul and he's like, Foul, just be careful, okay? I don't know. I, I, this this is worth investigating. I'll ask I'll ask Darius and the group if they're familiar with them. They might be best, but be careful. Anyone that ever got a proper good look at him, don't last long. Giggity. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now shall we cut back to the, uh, cut to the tavern or something or where? Oh yes, let's yes. let's go. Okay, so this is the, this is the very 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 end of this. And we'll wrap it up because we've yeah. been doing this for and very long. Mama yes, wants yes, to do yes, something. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jake the Baker is worth blanket. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me find the. Oh, yeah, there was meant to be a flashback thing, but I kind of skipped past it. It was just to show all the ways he was connected to the uh, conspiracy. Mm. Mm. So, like, there was hit. Next one, nah, don't worry. Like, basically, it was him just writing the letter, him importing the uh, black sugar. Black? Oh, that's fine. Scroll, scroll down. Scroll to scroll down. Actually, it's, it's here. It's here. Yeah, remember, suckers, just oh, do that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's us. There we are. Okay. Well, that okay. seemed to have been. Maurice disappeared again. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 get, get this dog back. <laughs> no, no. If you go here. Blackness. Can't oh, you yeah. see? Okay. 
So, Alf, Alf. The dog seems very concerned. What's what's wrong? Alf, and he starts like rushing off. Oh, we don't. No Maurice, come on. We don't have time for this. Two of us, th two or three people nearly died, and the rest of us are just kind of exhausted. So you oh, come on, oh, come on, Savvy. Near death experiences build character. Wait, near death experiences build character. Okay, so you notice like a crowd of um, people, like all like huddled, like looking outwards, terrified. Oh, for fuck's sake! Can we get sleep? What's going on? Soon, very soon. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> what's going on exactly? Yeah, they must on? be, they must be, they must yeah. want to thank us for taking on the Goblin okay, King. I, I don't, I don't know about that. What's the matter, boy? Alf, okay. alf, alf, alf. Listen, listen, everyone. If you want my autograph, I, I, you can sign my oh. apps. Runic Knight oh coming God. through. <laughs> Guys, you have runic seals. Use them to get past the crowd. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. What? Runic what now? It, it, runic Knight people coming through. Narnia, just follow me. You're with me. <laughs> yeah. Ah, come on. Uh, General Marcus, what's going on? Like, you know, it's like the the road has been blocked off by his own knights. <sighs> it's terrible news. Hold on. Keem over here. It's terrible news, Darius. You're still oh. carrying Keem, right? <laughs> yep. I'm oh, I see. Keem. Keem is still being held. Keem is okay. held. Darius, it's it's dreadful. This this is everything we've feared up till now. You know, Dedicus, that guy that you fought ages ago. It wasn't that long ago. Uh, well, mm -hmm. True. I mean, it felt like a long time for us. <laughs> well, you see, he must have sent some sort of undead aura, like a beacon or a piece of radar. They found us. The dead have found us. Oh, God. Death on the undead chicks. Okay, so... Oh, not now. Oh, now is not the Boy, time. I mean, maybe the dead is coming. So, you look out and, like, you see the wall, but there seems to be something on it. Like, some sort of, like, giant claw. Sh sh should we roll perception? She lifts the middle finger as she looks at the wall. So, so you look and you see, like, a claw, and it's, like, like engraved, like, onto the, like, stone as it begins to, like, rise up. And out you see, like, a ferocious face. Oh! That's a... Is that a... Is that oh. a... Attack of Time reference? A... Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, of course, oh, it's I thought there was a Titan reference. There's oh, a that's a Titan Shit. Oh. And then, oh, from off. the wall, like, from the wall comes, like, some sort of, like, cloaked Death Knight. Hang on, don't we know him? Yeah, there's yeah, the, the Sin Rider. That was the guy that rezzed all those zombies earlier. Mm. Hey, it's the guy that rezzed those zombies earlier. How you doing, dickweed? Ah, uh, excellent. Right on cue. The adventurers show up uh -huh. thinking... That 30 feet away. Hmm? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> 30 feet away. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 what was that? What was What's that? that noise? Whoa. Who's that? Sorry, that was me. I accidentally trod on my uh, cable and pulled out the... Uh, the <laughs> Hello? I trod on my uh, headphone cable and pulled out some wires and it might have... Uh... Oh, okay. 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 So, like, Simrata raised his arms. Behold the wrath of the Reaper! You have escaped his judgment for far too long, and he brings good tidings. Behold, his his ultimate weapon, the undead Tarask. We're all boned. You can't do this. Yeah, don't don't do this to we're, us like, just now. So you see this? 60, Sixty feet. No, we're fucking off. That's a Tarask. So you see this big green gang green? No, don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. What's gonna happen? It's not fine. It is fine. It's a th I swear no, if we... Mama Hornet, Sacrius doesn't know anything, doesn't really understand the concept of challenge ratings. And no, it's fine. if you understood what's going on, you would understand why I'm doing this. I read I read all the stats, it's fine. Wait, what's just the matter? Let it play <laughs> out. Just let it play out then, bitch. Okay. Yeah. okay. So like... Um, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm... So you see the gargantuan scale with this beast. 
Like even Darius is like shivering because even like his half giant stature is nothing compared to this world ending creature. <laughs> the Reaper's trump card laid right in front of them. Hey guys, you wanna fight that thing? No. <laughs> Darius quietly waves his hands like no. Come on, come on, that thing was fun. The thing is, the, the uh, Tarask itself is still behind the wall, just to let you know. It's only, like, peeking its head over. <laughs> and soon he shall turn all of you into his Legion of the Dead for betrayal and eternal servitude of Christian. death and destruction. Christian! Uh, yes? Christian. He, like, points to the orc, half orc over there. Do we get any undead chicks? If we, join you, if we get killed by you... You do, but I don't recommend it. Trust me. <laughs> I, 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 I've been adventurous once in a while. Uh, like, he's just face fine. Like, he's ruining his moment. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile. Okay. So, okay. You go on. Somebody shut him up. Okay. I just sort of, I just sort of cuff fall around the back of the head with my quarter. Wait, wait, I just, fall, want, I just knock it off. <laughs> I just want to walk the team. Not now, well, miss, so you had to take a nap now. <laughs> uh, oh. <clears throat> Odin, have mercy on us all, says Darius, as in, even he doesn't know what to do. No. We're, the adventurers find themselves faced off with one of the most disastrous creatures in all of the realms. We were going to do will, so will they survive or will they be decimated? Find out. Absolutely decimated. <laughs> find out in the next <laughs> adventure of the Runic Knights. We're fucked. Oh, I don't. Dun, 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 do dun, dun, dun. What's the cute thing you want to do? I... Do the cute thing. Do the cute thing. Which it's your time. No, no, it work. Work. Oh, okay. Oh, work. work. You messed it up with a task. Because <laughs> there's a fucking. <laughs> this one. Oh Read God. the Discord chat, Zacharias. Discord chat. You mean Twitch chat? Twitch chat. Uh, Discord yeah. chat. Really? Discord chat. What happened? Oh god. I don't know what Mama Hornet typed. Yeah. Uh, Where? No. Oh, weird. you mean the other one? She wanted to do. But oh. You, you apparently mm. had other other ideas. It's like. And I don't see how oh, King is going to help at all in this fight. He's completely out of Thank it. Thank you. That's an end game thing. We're not going to fight it. Yeah, because from what Sekiro is say, saying, it might be like a cutscene or something, or something happens. He said it's a cutscene. That's Trask! <laughs> and so, okay. Okay, I've read it. Sorry, here's the thing, I don't have notifications on my Discord, so I don't hear the ding, because I get too many dings from all the groups, and I don't want to turn off notifications on every single one. Mm -hmm. It's too much of a pain, but, but the point is... We you better have that moment another time. We will We will have that moment. I won't, I won't let it go all by, alright? There you go, Mama. Okay. So the adventurers find themselves face to face with one of the most like disastrous creatures in all the realms, under the control of the Reaper himself, being led by a second in command, Sin Rider, as they begin to launch siege against Blasted Pool. This was everything General Marcus has feared, and it's come right to their doorstep. Will the adventurers survive or will they get splatted like a Monty Python sketch? Let's find out. Next time. I next was all fucked. And thus, that is the end of the session. Yep. Well, Nadia, nice. I hope you're ready to log it out while oh, carrying. Well, great. Nadia, I hope you're ready to, to leg it like hell while carrying me. Yeah, that, was, that, was, no, that, was, that was great. I, like, I, oh, really, like this. I yeah. really like the story for this one. I really do. Same here. Oh, I, I personally felt it went on just a little bit. Yeah, it did. It went longer than I thought. Well, it's currently 2.17 a.m. here, and I'm starting to really pass out. Just like your yeah. character. Yeah, it, you fit the role perfectly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm real sorry for how long it yeah. took. This is what I meant that I was pretty sure it was going to be two sessions. It's fine. Oh, I gotta take a shower. A, ni a nice, um, a nice um, you know, cliffhanging cutscene yeah. and all that. Yeah. Just like the, this is absolutely like the hilarious.
Oh, okay. There we go. Now my profile picture's changed. Oh, um, so God, number one, I think you need to. I think you need to cute, do a cute drawing of you cradling Keem just as he's just you know yes, open his I eyes will. after that whole thing. Yes. Yes, I will. Also, oh my God, this is like every. This is my. Oh my God, I heard of another campaign where um wild magic went wrong and they accidentally freed a tarask and they just yeah yeah, yeah. Really fucked it's off. the video I, I saw that they had yeah. one underground and all that you don't mess with the tarask wait i haven't i'm seen gonna mess with it i am gonna mess with the tarask oh. oh don't like i know you're an idiot but holy shit <laughs> <laughs> I know he will. I know he will. That won't just KO you. That will do the double damage thing where it's meant to be like insta death. Oh, that is shit. that is literally mm. the thing where you you literally just can't get back up from it. You don't go into an unconscious state. You just it's just instant death. Yeah. There's no. Yeah, point no. That's why the goal. That's why the protocol for Trask is get as far away from, uh, from it as you can. Right. And like I said, no, and like I said, and like I said, Nadia, just get ready to run like hell while carrying your damsel in distress. <laughs> I, I am. Oh yeah, by the way, you want to say goodbye to the Twitch chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah, yeah I already said, I already yep. said goodbye. Yeah. We're fucked. Yeah. All right. Yeah, folks, goodbye, we'll everybody. Next time. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, goodbye. Yeah, we're. Really conscious Keem yeah. says goodbye. goodbye. What yeah, we we're, we're really fucked. We are f fucko oh, we're McBucko. Are we doing this yeah. Thursday? We're doing this yeah, yeah, we're doing this Thursday, right? Oh, we yeah. we want to transition? Oh, yeah. Alright, <laughs> oh, that's fine. For next Thursday, that's time. Alright, cool. Okay. Goodbye, yeah. we're fucked! Alright, later everyone. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.